Yeah, it's Salix Arbor. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. You know, stream went down for a little bit, but right now we're going to go right into the action, guys. Whoopie Sasa, Mr. Fish, Mr. Fish, you know, the resident big body main. Be awesome. Some Robin gameplay. I love me some Robin gameplay. So. So right, but right now it looks like Bisasim awesome. currently currently has the matchup on lock here. Just all right, good nose for Ratu to to heal to heal himself up for a little bit. Uh oh, doesn't have but doesn't have access to the arc fi arc fire or the arc thunder. Tries to, get, tries to hit him with the back air and... Right now, Mr. My, right now, Mr. Fish is trying to... Uh, right now, Mr. Fish trying to get something right. Take something right back and able to tack up some per percentage, but the air dodge away from a grab. And here we go. Gets hit with the forward air, and Bisasim is going to be taking that first that first uh, game. And here we go. We're going to go right back into it on the small battlefield. We're on a small battlefield. Mr. Fish still opting to stay to the Bowser to the, ba to the Bowser matchup. Let's see. Not able to get anything off of that forward air. And all right, decide actually able to get get nothing but for get dam damage to the forward air. Gets a pivot grab. Doesn't uh, tries to go for a pivot grab. Doesn't get anything off of it though. Be awesome just using doing the best he can just poking him away with these uh with uh with the sword doesn't want to get anything out of uh any of the armor any of the big hits from uh miss from bowser so let's see how this one's going to turn out here all right throws the arc fire to punish him and yet yeah, not going to be able to recover i guess used his jump a little too early unfortunate there and be awesome really trying to get going to try and build up some extra credit here gets the Nosferatu, heals off, and catches Mr. Fish just blocking with his face for the L Thunders. Here comes Arc Thunder, whips on the way down, th has to has to throw the book away, and just using all those like all those charges still has enough to recover. But you know one thing you got to be careful here gets the side B, gonna get the kill sparks, not gonna kill just yet. And again on the opposite side one more time. Doesn't get the platform. Definitely going to live this time. Starting to stale a little bit, so I don't think a third one's going to kill. Uh, but an up air is going to kill, especially when you try to when you try to whiff around and make sure that that's that's going now. Tries to go for the tries to go for the arc fire into into up tilt combo. The Robin classic. Not going to get it just yet though. And gets the and then gets the down smash. Not gonna take it down just yet, but here we go. But here we go, Mr. Fish evening up these stock, even evening up these stocks. Gonna try and get something started, but again, just being kept out with with these projectiles, with these buttons. Gets <laughs> doesn't get the confirm that he wanted. Tries to go for a huge down B, back throw. Not gonna take it, especially at this level. Rolls through the arc fire, but is gonna get hit with a back here for his troubles. And now Mr. Fish is currently on his his winner's winner stock here. Be saw some lowering that 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 up percentage as much as he can. And again, just trying to get build up the percentage, tries to go for a down. For a sort of down air, doesn't get hit with it. The forward smash, not going to. 
clip anything so far. All right, falling near, tries to go for the perf pivot. Pivot tried to try to catch him, not holding shield, gets forward smash. And here we go, the back throw, not going to take it just yet. And there we go, Vsauce is going to take it, 2-0. Uh, 2-0. All right, cool. Yo, mix up FGC. Thanks for the follow, dude. Yo, shout out to my boy Mix Up. I love you, bro. <laughs> mix Up, you know, the future Long Island KOF champion. Yeah, guys sorry about the technical dip sorry about the technical difficulty sorry about the disconnect guys we're gonna try our best yeah uh, we tried to you know do this wire but unfortunately the what we we're using just was not working so for now we're just going to be just streaming off of wi-fi we're gonna pray to god that this works um yo we in here it's good oh hell yeah the audio is good too hell yeah hell yeah thank you mix up Yeah, we're just setting up we're setting up some controls. <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting we're getting some stuff we're getting some stuff uh uh at the ready. Um I do I while we get while we're setting up though. Thank thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're, we're currently thank, thank you guys for thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys want to join into the fun, you can join it. We're here every Thursday at Collectors Emporium at 2705 Hempstead Turnpike over in Levittown. Um, we're, just through, we're just getting through some technical difficulties right now, guys. Just hold, just hold on for just a moment. We'll be getting right into the action as soon as we can. We're still busting out some kinks. We're still busting out some kinks, but no worries on that.
All right, guys, we're going to get things started right here. We got Shugokimon going with the Sephiroth and Mr. E going with his patented with his patented Lucina. I've loved this Lucina for a while. I've been watching it for, for a while. My favorite, you know, a lot of different fun, a lot of different fun moments. Mr. E, one of the more dominating, one of the dominating forces here on Long Island for a while since Smash 4, at the very least. Shigokimon, you know, I'm glad we're seeing some love for the for more Square Enix characters. We're getting some, uh, we're getting we're getting some Sephiroth love. You know, the man with the big sword. So, so here we. And here we go, Mr. E going to be able to get the get the back get a get a back air to take out take out Shingokimon's first set first stock here. Let's see if he's going to be able to get the get the comeback here. Gets the back air thrown back, not going to be able to get something out here. Gets the mega gets the giga flare and the down smash to try and get some of the coverage, but not going to get hit at all. Gets the up smash, not going to get it anything. I don't know what's going on, but man, this is some. This is so. There's, there's, there's currently some venue hype going on right now. I think Cube Guy's out here, and Shingoki Mom is, curr is currently get, is currently trying to, trying his best to get the get that first stock. So yeah, uh And looks like the counter break's gonna be gonna be Battlefield. Shigokimon going to opt to go for the Bowser, it looks like. Yep. Into this game too, going to, going into Battlefield. I can see. <laughs> What's going on over there, man? Because apparently a Ganon, that's why everyone's losing their mind. <laughs> I'm loving. I'm loving this. Uh, honestly, this is the. This is this, this, this is the stuff. This is this is the kind of the stuff that I miss. You know that you don't get with when you have a big when you have a big as hell venue. All right, Shigokimon switching. But Shigokimon going for the switch to Bowser. So far, it's working. Gets the dash tag, gets, hits him with the up B, but all, on the shield. Again, let's see where the ledge trap's gonna go. Tries to go for a regular grab, misspaces it. And a good reverse dolphin slash, trying to go for the ups for the back air. Not gonna get anything off of that. Gets the get up attack, gets the side B, gonna hit the top platform and not gonna get killed just yet. And not gonna get the kill spark. Not gonna kill just yet. Yeah, let's see where the, let's the ledge trap gonna go. Gets the back air, punishing Mr. E for landing on that side platform. <laughs> we have some in-game chat. We have some in-venue chance for Cube Guy. Cube Guy is definitely out here, at Long Island.
Right now, Shigoki Mom currently getting currently getting currently getting juggled by by a lot of these aerials and gets the gets the side B gets hit with manages to grab him running back catches him again but catching Mr. E just standing just standing in in a side in shield immediately getting side B. And here we go, hits him with the back air, throws him off stage, hits him with the forward air, that's gonna take that's, that's gonna take the stock. Where are we gonna go next? Shugokimon does not want to fall just yet. Gets the regular grab, up throw, what's the follow-up? Oh, tries to get the down smash. He has a lot of re-grabs here, hits the down down air. Tries to go for it, down air, trying to take it down. He gets the air grab. Oh. All right. All right, but we're gonna but we're gonna go right back into the into these into the matches. Maybe we, let's see let's see if like the venue is gonna be able to calm down a little bit. We're gonna get into guy guy versus relax here. <laughs> if you guys don't, yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna relax going with the off with the uh, with the Greninja and guy guy going with his wonderful Luigi. All right, here we go. We're gonna get the zero to death here. No, an ops to go, ops to go for the shore. You can not gonna get it just yet. All right, yeah, guy, guy, you know, guy, guy. You want it, You have to be really careful with with a character like Luigi because you you can get down down throw into an into an immediate kill option like the down B or the up B. Of course, guy, guy, really good at this end. Amazing ledge, ledge trapping abilities gets the back air immediately, and that's going to seal out that first stock. So re relax, you know, trying has a little bit has a little bit to climb up of Luigi, a very floaty character, not going to be able to make it just yet. But here we go, gets a gets a good conversion. Look at this punish game, and oh my gosh, there we go, just off of just like a off of a stray back air, immediately going to get into the confirm into the up into an up B. 
Oh, no. Uh, I saw that down throw, and I thought we were going to be watching the movie, but not going to get it just yet. All right, gets the... Gets the down air, not gonna get anything off of this yet. Guy Guy still holding on to his to his first stock here. Use the down B as a, as a bit of a combo break. The reverse hit of the down, the down tilt tries to again go for the stock. And the back are gonna hit him off stage. Really gets, gets something going here, gets the down B. Not gonna take it just yet. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great pressure again, relax, not utilizing that. Uh, utilizing, utilizing a get up attack and gonna immediately get hit. Gets hit with the forward air, gonna let him go, and is gonna get hit by the water shuriken. Not gonna kill just yet. All right, forward throw, not gonna kill again. Here comes the side B, the water pressure, just enough. Air dodges away. Saved on, holds on, guy guy saves onto his jump. And again, guy guy just trying to. Trying to get something started here. Trying to get a grab. Gets the jab combo away. 160% on relax. The Zare going to knock him off. <laughs> and the down B is going to take it. Very, very convincingly. Guy Guy takes it. Takes, ga takes game one. So we're going to go. We're going to go to a hollow bastion. Understandable why. We're gonna go to and we're gonna go right to Hollow Bastion here. Great conversion off of a, off of a straight straight forward air, and it's still going. Never mind, that's a zero to death. He gets the falling off smash. Not gonna get it just yet, but here we go. Here comes the down air. Let's see. We're gonna get some SDI. Gets away from the up B. Would have definitely killed. Would have definitely killed, but. Let's see, relax now, trying to get some offense of his own. 85% has a guy guy at the ledge. Neutral getup, no response for it. Able to block in time, and the Nair clanks with the uh, with the uh, with the with the, with the, with the grab end. But right after this, guy guy trying his best to to stall away, make sure get it, call out any uh, sort of. Uh, like edge guard, not gonna anything after that, but here comes the down air, gets knocked off. Oh, just short, not gonna take it just yet. Relax, not out of it just yet, has one on, onto his last stock. Guy Guy really just such a dominant play, a dominant play coming onto this. Gets hit with the dash tech, great float over, no, just, but no, nothing off of it, just resets to neutral. Doesn't get the right angle on the back air and gets hit with the up smash. Knocked off stage and a trade. All right, get relaxed. Managed to take the first, his first stock. And again, Guy Guy trying to get a confirm. Calls out, calls it out. He gets it again and gets the down B and that's gonna take it, a JV3. All right, guys. Next match. Next match. Next match coming up. We're gonna be you fine and moat.
All right, so these two are gonna be these two are gonna be opting to just uh these two are gonna be opting to just gentlemen to to uh, PS2. say <laughs> no So you find, from what I remember from last week, you find is a Pac-Man made moat being the and we, got, and we have moat being the being a resident Terry main here. All right, cool, good stuff. Love to see it. Love to see it. Um, all right, but here we go. It just gets an up tilt into the into a nair. Near burning knuckle and melee getting a lot of these air-to-air -air options with um, get, getting getting some good air-to-air -air options. Getting 79% mo. Uh, sorry, you fine. Let me switch. The, let me switch those name. Yeah, you fine. Really tr trying to get getting a little bit of a conversion off of it again. Just hitting some of that Terry pressure. And again, try, doesn't get doesn't get the re-grab on it. Does not he did not recharge it afterwards. But oh, the water from the, the water from the the hydrant going to push off the uh, rising tackle, and Moat's going to lose his first stock unfortunately due to do some water wind box shenanigans. Here we go into the jab jab rising tackle not going to get it but gets the charge too so gets gets a lot of gets a lot of percentage off of just one jab, and tries to get and tries to get it again this time, going to take this time going to take it Moat able to keep these stocks really close. Really close here, not fall, not trying to get his much as he can, but again, that spot dodge canceled that. I opted activating off of that. Again, just you, just uses all of the, just uses the apple trying to trying to, and but gets a trade with the uh, burning knuckle. Again, mode you you just popping immediately popping that hydrant, but now he has access to go look, fishing for that down tilt, down tilt, up tilt. Power Geyser or, or down tilt forward tilt Buster Wolf could almost kill at any percentage here. Oh, gets the near, not gonna get out, not gonna get the conversion off of it again. That bell, oh, doesn't get the kill confirm, but hits him with the orange. Another one just barely jumps over it, but gets hit with the apple, catches him trying to to get something. Oh, goes for and goes for a Buster. Wolf. I think that's supposed to be a uh. And it's supposed to be just a regular option there. <laughs> Barely misses with the uh gets the power geyser, but yep, I love I like the pressure and I like the bait for for an unsafe option. Really trying to get something with this power dunk. Not gonna get anything off of it, but and just gonna get hit with an apple for his trouble. You find now is gonna be take is gonna be taking the stock lead, but as 124%, a hard hit like a burn like a burn knuckle, a power dunk is gonna be able to take it, take it here. Moat really trying to fish for it, try, and uh, you find trying to go for that jab lock, not gonna get anything off of it, but just four fares and he managed to get 24%. He has the Galaxian burn, no, going for the key and just throwing it just to avoid any sort of power dunk like that. He doesn't yet. There he go, gets the dash tack and grabs the orange for his troubles. Has the Galaxian and you find as the Galaxian bird. All right, this time going for it, going for it. Oh no, punish off of that. But again, this time just pressing on a shield and just has to do a jab jab power dunk immediately. Uh, oh gosh, gets the parry and no, and nothing off of it. But here we go, utilizing that, uh, utilizing it as a wall. All right, has the bell. All right, again, throws the bell, trying to get a tech in place. Not gonna get it just yet, but he has go. But he has go, doesn't want to get, doesn't, doesn't want to get hit by anything now, but into the classic, 
forward forward air into roll in and with a read with the you find managed to take that with a forward air into the forward smash you find's gonna take that very close game very close game in stocks let's see where we're gonna let's see where we're gonna go for the counter pick um just gonna run it right back Alrighty, guys. So, next, so we're gonna, be, we're gonna be running this right back. Man, that that crack shoot does so much. And right now, I think you find is uh, catching on to a little bit of the little bit of mode strategy of just trying to op, just trying to opt and go for, you know, trying to punish off of these like these options to try and pop this hydrant again. Roll back, tries to finish off the plate, and get and manage to catch up in the percentage the percentage match, which with some conversions off of the Galaxian bird. All right, again tries to pop it with the, tries to pop it. You find getting hit by the uh, and just opts to throw the bell. I think I know why. Trying to go for like, maybe like a, a power dunk off ledge or something. <laughs> it's gonna and the bell's gonna clank with the, with, with the power dunk and not gonna kill just yet. All right, jab jab into rising tackle. That's gonna take it. You find now. You find now playing playing a little bit from behind. Just opts to charge the bell immediately afterwards. But he has but he has. Moat losing a stock, unfortunately. The forward, gets the forward tilt into the crack shot. Not gonna, not gonna get anything out of that. But gets the falling, gets the falling fair. Here we go, another, another conversion off of it. Just now throwing the hydrant down. Oh my gosh, you find just utilizing some of, some of, some of one of Pac-Man's biggest strength, which is set play. But now, but now, here we go. Buster Wolf gonna catch it up to percent to, from 30 to 40 almost immediately. Gotta be careful though, because I think another another hit of that super is going to ki is going to kill him. Trying to go for the for for power guys to hit to hit him. Tries to go for and and you find I like the the read. Tries to go for the roll, but try to go for I think I think that was actually just a regular uh, power wave and not gonna and not gonna get it again. Trying to hit the fair. Jabs him and gets fair again. Moat not ready for it, and this time ready for the Buster Wolf. Oh, gets hit with a with, gets hit with the gem. I love to see it. The neutral get a Buster Wolf. Not going to be able to hit it just yet. You find though, at, I I love the adjustment from Moat. Utilizing the side tilt into the into that. What's the punish on that? No, doesn't get a punish off it. All right, Moat. Moat managing to get the get the turnaround here. All right, yep. Moat re recognizing that he doesn't need to go in, just camping back, throwing out a little bit of power waves. Again and again, and also Moat really waiting for those back air from those those backers immediately after the uh, after the fo uh, a rushing forward air. All right, throws throws the bell again. This time not going to make it. And oh, power geezer pops the. Pops the hydrant. I don't think that's coming back. Uh, and gets the and gets hit with the nair. Terry living the 218. I know he's a bit of a heavy character, but right now, as long as he keeps go, he is still he is currently in kill percent, honestly. So you gotta be careful with that, guys. Okay. All right, gets hit with the gets hit with the hydrant now. 72%, but that's nothing that's nothing, you know, a couple of good conversions with this Galaxian bird. Not but not when Terry grabs it. But that 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 fair just neutralizing that hitbox. All right, trying to get trying to call something out with the with the with the rising tackle. Jab jab power dunk 115%. All right, again, great timing from great timing from you you fine. To avoid to avoid any sort of like any sort of shenanigans with that with that power dunk. All right, has the apple in play? Got Melon try. I think he's trying to build for Galaxian Bird. Yes, he is. And again, Moat just grabbing these projectiles, neutralizing them. Oh, uh, again, just nares it again. And again, you find just going for that forward that forward smash gets the back air off of the whiff, off the block power, uh, rising tackle. Oh no! Oh man, that bell is immediately gonna take it. But good stuff to you, fine. Good stuff to Moat. 
I love I love I love seeing me some Terry gameplay. But good stuff. All right, let's see. But we're gonna see what's gonna what's coming next to the stream, guys. If you guys are tuning, remember guys, if you guys are tuning in and you want to show us some love, hit that follow button, hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, all that jazz, all that jazz. And if you guys want to join in on the fun, we're here every Thursday for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate at 2705 Hempstead Turnpike at Levittown. And along with that, on almost every Saturday of the month so far, we run fighting game. We've run fighting game events, guys. We got, you know, Guilty Gear Strive. We got Tekken 7, and we're adding some King of Fighters 15, guys. We're getting some Shingo hype in this in this house, man. If you don't know who Shingo is, I know the Weeaboos will love Shingo because he's voiced by Dio Brando. But go, coming up, to, coming up to, to to the uh, coming up next to Bat on stream. We're gonna be getting Pango and Dar. You know, I, I, I see we have Bun in the chat asking where the Steve player's at. We heard you and he and he's and here they come. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. We have to protect. We have to protect and hold some stuff here. But we got, we got Dar. You know, resident corn looks like a corn main. Not sure. I have no for being hilariously wrong when it comes to guessing people's uh, mains. So Pango here last week taking second place. Yeah, Pango here taking second place with the with the Steve losing to DTP. Someone who's not. So I don't think DTP is here in the, in the uh, building today. But right now, but right now, you know, Dar Dar going with the uh, with the Corin. You know, I I don't see many. I don't see I don't see many uh, many Corins outside of. Uh, I think they go by Hoshido's finest still HF on the island so you know it's good to see some more representation with this character you know showing some showing some love to fire emblem fates i'm personally not personally not a fan of it, but you know some people enjoy it but here we go pango yep getting the the scoop and score the scoop and score getting hitting him with the minecraft cart and immediately just slamming him back down but not gonna but not at a high enough percent to get the kill just yet Pango really. Pango trying to get something started here. Trying to close out this stock. Currently has Dar at 132%. But Dar able to get him with the back air, trying to land back onto the stage. But Pango is taking out the diamond. Gonna cause gonna create a lot more killability here. And there comes the four the, the side B. D Dar is gonna get Dar's gonna fall there. And trying to and trying to build as much percentage as he can with the diamond. But Dar not letting Pango land for free. But again, right as I say that, the down, the down air not gonna get anything started here. And right now, what Dar's trying to do is he's trying to stuff out specifically the minecart. He's trying to stuff out the minecart with with you know just again like some of these tilts. But here we, but here we go, but here we go though now. 
Pango loses the second to last, the second to last stock. All right, again, again now, Lud Trap not gonna get anything off of that. Here comes the here comes the forward air to push him back, and starts getting the, the pickaxe. Gonna hit him immediately, but Pango is trying to close this out. Has good use, has good, has has a good amount of resources just yet, just now. So. But here we go. Get hits him with the back air. Not gonna be able to get anything off of this. Hits the forward air, 140% on Dar, the ledge trap, not going to get it. Pango go, uh, going for double, going for double down smash, not going to get anything off of that. And Pango's going to take that first game with a, with a forward smash. Yo, sh yo, fun. Yeah, that's fun out here saying that's a real Smash character. I feel you on that one, dude. Steve, <laughs> you, 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 you out here saying Steve needs buffs? Uh, I, I don't know how the community feels about that bun. Uh, but we're gonna go. But uh, Dar opting, Dar opting to choose to go to the. Uh, to town and city. Hmm. Like I'm trying to see like what, if there's anything that like Dar might be able to do to uh, you know counter counter uh, counteract against these blocks as he gets zero to death. Good stuff to Pango and now making some of the adjustments that he may that he may not have had. Maybe he's not used to fighting against uh, you know Corin. And right now Pango's making some really good adjustments for this. All right, gets the back throw. What's Dar going to do? Has to avoid this, like, plethora of uh, projectiles. Steve really... Steve, Steve able to go for it, and Pango again going for a, for a big forward smash. Not going to get the kill just yet. And the forward tilt pushes him off stage, and just going to keep racking up this damage. Man, this iron hits like a truck. Oh, man, and Dar is... And Dar is currently down to... to and Dar is currently down on his last stock here. All right. <laughs> Gonna have to send someone to Duff City because right now Pango does not have a pickaxe just yet. Trying to get something with this TNT, but still getting juggled with the with with that. Gets hit with gets hit with the project with the neutral B. And Dar really trying to get rid of that crafting table, trying to uh, get something away there, but. Oh my gosh! Just a fair, just a fair in, uh, nair into fair, getting 30%. Pango utilizing his resources and just teching off of the off of the randomly placed blo blo blocks there. And the anvil is going to take it. Pango takes it 2-0, cleanly over Dar. Oh no.
Huh. So right as I go for a bathroom break, I proceed to spill my energy drink all over the commentary desk. It was nice working for you guys. Right now we have a CVS bag su su sweeping it up. Thank you. At least nothing important. Yeah. No, yeah. Thank you. Sorry about that. Just be careful. Gotcha. But we're going to get back, right back into the uh, Smash Ultimate action here, guys. Let me fix that for you guys right now. It's T-Sizzle versus Reflection. Going with the Joker. I know Reflection being a duo main. I love me some Joker, so this is, this is, this is going to be really fun, you know. Right, right now, I'm not sure how much uh, matchup knowledge either of these players have against the other's character. How much T-Sizzle has against Joker, or Reflection has against Toon Link. In fact, I think the only... And right, but right now, you know, T-Sizzle... But T-Sizzle right now, like, able to take that first stock against, against Reflection's... Against Reflections Joker. Oh man, T Sizzle just barely able to not make it. And right now, Reflection trying to get something with that with that Rebels guard, but it's on. <laughs> right now, we have our TO trying to direct traffic. You know, we got a lot more setups, and honestly, last week we had five, so we didn't have a set of six, guys. But here we go. Reflection now has Arsene. She go gets the down air and the spike too. So, but right. So let's see. Let, let's see. Let's see if uh, if T Sales is going to be able to get a little bit more data to take this into game two, or even make a comeback against this because you know just has to hit has to hit Arsene a little bit more. And Reflection making a great usage out of that, trying to make sure that he's able to get as much as he can again. Reflection trying to get something with that down B. But currently, at this current moment, 0-2 with, with that. 0-3, not even able to get off the boomerang. So here we go, gets the, fall, gets the falling down air and utilizes the gun rainstorm, gonna push away. But the back throw now, what's for breakfast? The, the regular arrow, that's not gonna take it. That, But the back, uh, but again, another back throw from Toon Lake, not going to get it. Z drop into the forward air. There we go, 106% on, on T-Sizzle. Into a drop, into a falling, uh, into into a fall into a falling uh, bomb drop not gonna get it just yet Arsene is should come out now yep there he is so, so gotta be careful with the, gotta be careful with this a raw back here definitely gonna get put someone to a disadvantageous situation and not gonna have anything off of it just yet 78 percent on on reflection and Arsene's gone this is a lot more even. Doesn't want to get hit. The bomb, going to throw it immediately. You know, Joker still can kill without it. Right as I say that, gets the kill spark with the back air. Going to get gonna get hit, but a falling there. Going to immediately going to take it. Going to take it. Goes in deep again, and Reflection's going to take that. But here we go, guys. We're gonna we're gonna be seeing where the counter pick's gonna go. We're going right back to PS2. We're going right back to PS2. It looks like Reflection is going to be sticking with the Joker. Again, I love it. I love to see it, guys. I think at this current moment, the only the lone Joker main left here on the island. And this time, immediate. This time, going into round, game number two, reflection two for two on the on the rebels guard, getting our set at thirty seven percent. But T Sizzle is keeping the pressure going with. It, but T Sizzle is keeping the pressure going with this with the tune with the tune link stuff here. Gets hit with the boomerang on the way back. Has just got the first hit using neutral B guns. 
Trying to trying to get a Makarakar in return with possibly either a boomerang or it or even a bomb, but has to but gonna get hit. Try to use the pinwheel fire firing technique, not gonna get hit. But reflection here, one of the things that reflection has really well is his ledge trapping and edge guarding capabilities. T, T Sizzle immediately turning it around. I do have to point out that was a re that was a really good recovery from T Sizzle, but Reflection and Re Reflection loses his first stock. Gets the gets a downward angle forward tilt, and now the first whiff, but not going to get a full punish. Not going to get a full punish off of the off off of the uh, whiffed uh, Rebels guard. Here we go, Persona. Each now with the now with the. Uh, with the cut in, I guess because he's, I guess because uh, Reflection's playing a little bit behind, but you know this will this will help if he can get a, if he can get a hit, knock him off stage, and you know this will this will really close it out. Doesn't get hit with the second hit of the dash tag, but the down tilt going to hurt so well, and Reflection really trying to get something started here, but gets the hit with the back air. Knocks knocks T Sizzle into 78%, 88%. And just gonna have to opt to use the rainstorm. Gets the jab, the down throw into back air. Tries to go, tries to go for the double dip. But let's see where that ledge trap is gonna be going. Tries to go for the job. Try to go for the grab, and, and immediately going to get get rolled past. All right, gets the hit, gets hit with the zare, the falling there, and all right, again reflection. Just you just. Staying by the ledge, able to get around with Joker's mobility with the guns. Good parry off of the off of the arrows. And again, look again that rebellion meter almost at full. 119. Not gonna be able to utilize it. So here we go. The four gets hit with the forward air, gra accidentally grabs the bomb, but this time uses the Rebel's Guard to get a little bit of a head start. Definitely needs to, doesn't want to take as much percentage against a character like Toon Link, who on what, any any percentage counts, especially when it comes to getting that, that Rebel's Guard. Again, really going deep. Reflection manages to turn it around and now only has 18% to catch up. And just a little bit more, there it is. 15 more percent, but I'll take an Arsen summon at any moment, because one dash tech does 17%. There it is. Gets the, gets the, uh, gets the, uh, gets, gets the, uh, the hit, but not gonna get anything off of it. Again now, gets the big forward smash. What a good read. And Reflection's gonna stay alive against T Sizzle. Man, you know, you know, I kind of wish Fabian and Arcana were here because there would definitely be some smack to be ta talked right now because Meta fired back against Team FAD. Obviously, nothing is counted. But you know, just just saying, just saying, just saying. <laughs> and looks like coming up next to the stream, we're gonna have Cody versus Smurf Poster 27. It looks like. But good stuff, good stuff to reflection, good stuff to. Good stuff, yeah, good stuff to reflection and good stuff to to uh, T Sizzle.
All right, guys. So we're gonna, so Cody, so Cody coming coming up here. I got Smurf poster. We're gonna see, you know, Cody, a resident peach mate, a resident peach mate. All right, Smurf Buster going with the going with the with the Ryu here. Cody going with the going with his usual, you know, the Peach. So this is so this is, this is, this is my first time seeing like a, a Ryu. So this is actually this is actually kind of cool. I don't know how much uh, matchup knowledge that Cody has against Ryu, but uh, not gonna stop from getting a 39% 39% confirm off of a stray hit. But it gets but. Okay, here we go though. Gets the hits with the Shokunetsu. Oh my gosh! All right, I can see. I can see some of the. So I'm not too familiar with the with Ryu in Smash Ultimate. I know a lot of people don't think he's as good as, you know, last game. But man, that up air into Shoryuken, input Shoryuken also. So good stuff here. Look at this pressure too. Immediately just dashing in there with with some low, with some uh, down tilts or low low shorts. And immediately just following up with a shore Yuki. Not gonna get punished off of that, but here we go. Light medium into the spike. Not gonna kill just yet. And I like the usage of the focus attack to really get some mobility on here. Cody really trying to get some adjustments here. And just, yeah, immediately gonna tank that with the uh with the focus attack. All right. Let's see where let's see let's see where Cody's gonna be able to get anything after this. Try to go for the side B. Trying to go for the for the side, he gets hit with the turn up immediately. Smurf and Smurf going to be catching that that turn up from side to side. All right, good parry off of the off the multi hit down air. Smurf not able to Smurf not able to get a lot of uh Smurf not able to get a lot of a. Uh, percentage after that that big burst and it, but here we go hits him with the shock and that's i'm seeing a lot of mileage off of this shock and that's who opts to finish this plate that's gonna be a big punish of 49 percent on to smurf poster cody i feel like cody could have gotten a bit more and there we go both of these he's looking at <laughs> he's looking he's looking for a kill yeah like i'm uh, Makes sense. It makes sense of how with the with the kill, with the uh, kill. There we go. It's a. All right. Let's but let's see now. I, I I'm lo I'm loving. I'm like I said. I'm just here. I'm out. I'm out of. I'm out of the loop. Honestly, and I'm just glad I'm seeing more. Just seeing just some good old fashioned Ryu gameplay. 
even though it's not Smash 4, we're seeing, you know, <coughs> we're seeing something good, but gonna get gimped, <laughs> gonna get gimped by, by the turn up. And these two are, and these two are now at even stocks. Last game, here we go. Gets the down, down light, medium, heavy into Shokunetsu. Shokunetsu Hadouken gets him, gets himself. Cody now getting his bearings straight, able to keep himself away and forces, forces Smurf at the bottom here. Forced himself onto the, onto the corner, but great spacing from this from a sw near sweep percentage but smurf poster able to read a lot of these doesn't get the, gets the focus tech on the wrong area okay though all right here we go tries to go for the collarbone breaker trying to go for a big trying to get maybe a sort of like a shield break but Gets gets some item recatch regrab combos. Gets hit with it. Saves the jump. Able to make it back safe. Doesn't want to get hit by that back air. That back air is gonna be curtains for this game. Box the, blocks the side B's immediately. Cody, Cody gets gets a shotgun. That's a Hadouken. Now here comes that here comes that uh, side that percentage gets hits immediately. I'm not I'm not sure. Gets hit. That I think he might. Does he have his jump? No, he doesn't. Yo, KOF 15 patch notes just dropped, just saying. All right. So if you're KOF 15 heads, AKA the commentator sitting here and the TOs at the TO desk, the patch notes just dropped. Mr. TO, has, has Rock got it nerfed yet? We were checking, but while we check, we got some Smash Ultimate action here. Some more Smash Ultimate action here, guys. Someone's taking my job over here, man. All right, here, but we're getting we're getting things started here. Uh, Smurf post Cody, Cody under Cody, I think is understanding what to, what to be looking for in this matchup against Ryu. And this time, this time starting with 102 percent on a on it. But here we go. All right. Opposite tank, the, the hit doesn't get the side, the doesn't get the uh, armor from the uh, down B, but and gonna get, gonna hold a, uh, hold the back air and now loses first stock here. Cody making some great adjustments here, but good grounded again. I love this good grounded game. Trying to get it, trying to get an aggressive option from, from Co from Cody, but Cody not falling for it. This time, oh my gosh. All right. Oh, oh, he got he got the he did get the read, but didn't get the good option. But doesn't matter if you have a low, if you get hit with the, short, the crouching short into shore, you can. All right, goes to the block. Try uh, one of the, one of the things that's really one of the things that I that I love right now with uh with uh with Cody is that he's a bit, he's able to just he's floating slightly above to not get hit by by an up tilt, which I'm not seeing I'm not seeing from from Smurf poster. You know, I'm, I'm not sure how that is as a anti-air option, but he's getting these up airs. He's getting these up airs too to juggle a little bit. All right, gets the nair. No follow up after that. I know he's waiting for like a down air of some sort, but here we go. There's the Shoryuken, but no punish. And now we're up to even stocks. And now we're and now we're up to even stocks here, guys. Let's see. Let's see if uh, Cody's gonna be able to get a, another zero to death. He gets him hit with the forward smash, but this time opts to save it again. Imagine to save his save his jump. Mr. Saturn unfortunately falls off. Could have led to could have led to any sort of shenanigans here, but Clanks but Clanks with the forward air not gonna get it just yet. But uh, train with that turn up. I think he's dead. That's what happens when that, that's that's the the life of a traditional fighting game uh, character player. Yeah, you get you get you, you're not gonna re you, there. There's a good chance that you're not recovering unless you're hug you're not recovering vertically unless you're hugging the wall. Oh well. 
good stuff to Cody taking that 2-0 -oh. very cleanly. Oh, very cleanly, but man, I'd love to see more of that Ryu, honestly. Billy Shilling Raptor on stream. Billy Shilling Raptor on stream. Right now we're still right now we st you know while we wait guys of course show us some love by hitting that follow button guys reflection thanks for the follow man <laughs> you're D dude it's okay i literally followed i followed the channel right right wait <laughs> Reflection here to explain themselves. Hi, it's me. I'm Reflection. Follow the account. Thank you. Uh, buy my Metify. Metify.gg slash at sign Reflection. Aren't you like top 3%? Top 3%, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do I remember yeah. things? I remember. Th Unironically, yeah. Like, that's, that's pretty cool. You should so, book me. So he's definitely doing something right. <laughs> you should book me. I won on stream. He won on stream, yeah. With Yeah, with like Well, uh, here's the thing I was saying. So last week... No offense, you like I'm an I'm I will say this, I am neutral in the team meta versus team fad. Oh, there, I, there was, was an it, FAD sweep last week, man, so Well, I didn't I wasn't in bracket here last week. Yeah. I was getting my hair done. I know, and, and it looks great and it looks great now. Thank you, I appreciate it. I got double eliminated at um Gotham by, by fad people. I lost to uh <laughs> or no, I lost to Weezer who doesn't really count. Yeah, he I, he's yeah yeah. And then he, I lost to and then I lost to um fucking uh was it redacted? Redacted. But like that's Min Min Joker. Like God help me. Lamau. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's just yeah. That that, that that's exactly yeah, your, that. Yeah, that that was but, your uh, face. <laughs> but like, yeah, all, all I'm saying is right now, I think currently I haven't been keeping track of the matchups, but I think the one technical FAD versus meta match, it's, it was you and T Sizzle. Yeah, and I mean, T Sizzle is really good though. T no, T Sizzle's got like. I, I think all the fat guys are actually like really, 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 really. They're good. really good, but you gotta talk shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, I literally, we talked, like, we literally talked in uh, full disclosure, I literally just talked it for fun. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, that's it. It. yeah, no, exactly, yeah. No, I, all I'm saying is that it's, one day we, we need to have, like, this This should be the neutral. Because it's, we, you can't have, yeah. though, because, like, I feel like, no, people don't know how to talk shit, though. They just say you're, you're bad and then move on. It's like, no, be creative. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, yo, make it worth it. The fact that I called Skeet half a Kazuya and it stuck is my favorite <laughs> thing ever. I, yo... Yo, I'm, I'm telling you, if the, if the crew battle happens and you have to end up against Skeet, if you if you if you put this if you put it, you should make you should make your in-game tag half. No, I literally will do one over two. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I if I if you end yeah, but yep, but yeah but yeah guys, this is this this uh, this is to get into winners quarters or winners eighths if you will. Anyone who actually uses winners eighths, I really. Actually no no, I'm doing commentary now. <laughs> I'm doing commentary now. Go for it, oh, man. Yeah, I'm having fun. Oh, that's a wet. That's a wet. Oh, shirt. my bad. Well, that's because what you call it? There's paper okay. towels. Yeah, I spilled my energy drink, so you're gonna get you're gonna get C4. I'm gonna my my butt's gonna be <laughs> moving, <laughs> slipping and sliding. Oh, you we got Bartek in the chat. No Bartek's here. Bartek's in the chat Yo, right there. Bartek. Shout out to Bar. Shout out to Bar. Let's go Bartek. Let's go Bartek. Love Bartek. <laughs> that's my goat. All right, we got Raptor playing Yoshi. We have Billy got Shilly. Billy Shilly, who made a meet. Playing, he's gonna play Brawler. He's gonna play either Brawler or Cass. Can I move this? Yeah. Don't worry, it's my, it's my water. He's, he's definitely, definitely playing Brawler. Um, this isn't Smash 4, man. Bill, no, no, he, he still plays Brawler in this game. He does a little something called not having fun. Um, or not letting others have fun. I was about to say, yeah, uh, hold on a minute there. I gotta so switch these, I gotta switch these. The, the biggest thing that I, like, I, I know about what Billy does is uh, his moveset has shot put. Okay. It has flip jump. Yep. It has helicopter kick, and I believe it has the command grab, like the side B, like yeah, the, the suplex. Yeah, that one. Um, 
And the reason he does that is literally because he just likes grabbing people at, at 50 and then shaking their hand before he goes for the down throw. Um, because that confirm is broken. Um, I don't know how well it works on Yoshi, though, if I'm being real. Uh, I mean, this is my first time seeing this, you know. I know Billy Shilly has, like, you know, the Pichu in Sin main. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, those were the days. Remember, I'm just a washed-up commentator. Yeah, dude. no, that, that's true. I, I, gotta, I gotta remember I'm, like, actually, like, fighting him, like, now that he's, like, playing, like, new characters. <laughs> exactly. So, I'm, I'm, I, it's, it's, it's weird. I feel like I, like, skipped it. Like, everyone has the same names, but, like, everyone has changed fighting styles and characters and it's, stuff. Yeah, it's really interesting. I mean... For, for example, Raptor's playing Light Blue Yoshi. Wait, holy shit, you're right. <laughs> Wait, do I have to be esports? Uh, oh, okay, awesome. Forward air. A good, a nice forward air. Good forward air. I think. Artistic forward air. Yeah, artistic. I, I Artistically don't, I, done. I don't think. I don't think we have to be esports. I'll, I'll, I'll take. I'll take the blame. I'll take the blame. Okay, don't drop an F bomb. PG thirteen. PG thirteen. PG thirteen. Okay, word. Right, awesome. Rated T rating. Rated T rating. Sick nasty. Yeah. Oh, you can say shit. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, um, but yeah, so, um, Raptor, uh, hitting me with the colorblind mix-up, and, uh, going somewhere else on the RGB scale. We have a Samus Ditto occurring. They oh. both need to be banned. Alright, so, Rachel just let us know that there's a Samus Ditto occurring right now. We're... Who is it? Oh, yeah. Sonic and Belmont name. Samus Ditto. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, this bracket's gonna be running behind, guys. Um, why are there more people watching that instead of this hype me brawler gameplay, guys? I, I mean, I don't know. I'm watching. I'm watching Carlos do some beautiful platform camping. Uh, it's it's cool because the the J in in John stands for jab, I see. and the C in Carlos stands for camp. Oh, which is why. And when you think Raptor, you think run away. When you think Suarez, you think swing. I see. <laughs> right now, right now we're seeing the a little bit of The clues have been there all along. <laughs> right now we're seeing a little bit of swinging though from Raptor. No, he's still Never camping in the, in the left blast zone. Now he, <laughs> now he has iframes. How is Billy supposed to hit him now? Uh, Actually, no. Well, I mean, he has his double jump though. That's the problem. Oh, I see. Because he tried waiting for the double jump and then he hit him for the double jump, but because Yoshi's double jump has armor sometimes, um, he, 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 he lost. Top three, oh. top three percent on Metafy. No, I need to. I should actually, actually give like commentary. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, really? Okay. Really good conversion. Um, I'm not actually sure what causes. I know Yoshi's. That'd be the second I know, time I see four. I know Yoshi's Yoshi's uh, jump armor comes out frame one, but I'm not sure the exact extent to how strong it is. Yeah. Um, but I know that if the first hit out like out prioritizes it, the rest of it will also follow through. Um, that applies for moves like Bayo Witch Twist, for example. Okay. So the second that Bayo will clip up uh, Yoshi with her up like that actually, um, he just kind of gets hit and he can't really jump out of it. I um, see. Also, I was wrong. Billy's using a different uh, upbeat. Still one that kills you off of a grab at stupid percents, but the other one. Yeah. Um, all right, gets the multi, gets the multi jab to just erase himself. But now Raptor, now Chili is in kill percent. It's kind of hard though, because you also have to realize that like Billy doesn't mind this because he literally just needs a down throw up air and then Raptor's at kill percent. Billy quite literally just needs one one more good hit. Oh my god, the bad DI, but the frame trap. Oh, he did everything wrong there. Um, so it's like it's kind of weird because. When Yoshi goes for down throw, if you're at a high percent, the only way that you aren't getting true combo into up air is if you DI away. Um, down throw up air has enough hit stun to be true, but only on DI in because that's the only way that Yoshi has enough time to reach you with up air in time. Um, so even though, so what happened was Billy did the wrong DI on the down throw, but Carlos also messed up the punish, or or Billy was out of the percent, or something. Something happened that didn't allow Yoshi to get the up air in time, and because Billy opted to do neutral air dodge, it actually allowed himself to get frame trapped. Um, if Carlos or if Raptor does that that sh a full hop up air in place, it's gonna take him longer to drift to one side if he's going straight up. He has to hard commit to going one direction if he wants to read that, though. Got it. Um, and Raptor again. But, but yeah, because because he, uh, what's it called? The, the neutral air dodge, he was able to frame trap. Um, All right. 
They're winning game one, and then uh, game two, though. Um, game two, I mean, we're going to small battlefield. I can see why earlier kills. Yeah. Early kills, not as much room for Carlos to run around and such. But he says, okay, I'll just bring the fight to you, because you're going to bring the fight to me. I'm going to read your ass. This also matters a lot, because the lower platform heights give me Brawler a, mu uh, give me Brawler a much easier time comboing to them. Ah. So things like full hop up air, like now just like kind of combo onto the platform like much more or reliably, because you can just fast all right after, and then land right there. Okay. Um, oh. So there's a lot of reset potential there for ladders, but at the same time, uh, the low platforms also give Yoshi up smash, and Yoshi's ability to shark a lot easier of a time. Also, that exact interaction was what I was talking about. What? Uh, Billy pulled Raptor out of his double jump with the first hit of up B and managed to get the entire thing out and actually sucked away the entire double jump with his up B. Um, and it caused Raptor to have to land without a jump at a very, very low distance to the ground. So if Billy were to capitalize on that in, the, in a future interaction with just like a short hop forward air or a short hop air, then that would actually be able to just kill, like, take stocks at like 70. Because there's no way for him to actually get back. Like, how is he going to get back without a jump? If you're at that low of an angle. Oh, oh my! God. So the second that you remove, the second that you use those multi hits to remove the jump from the first multi hit, you're able to just completely take the sack away. Yeah. Man, it's messed up. Yeah, no. I like I like the amount of research you put into this character. Um, I really don't like Yoshi, and I really didn't like losing to John. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, yeah, look at that! Look at that! What? Did you see how it happened? Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! And it's like if that if that exact interaction happens, but just higher up on the stage, then there's just so much that you're like it's hard because it, obviously he's in free fall. Mm -hmm. But if if Raptor gets knocked away enough, then yeah, and, and, Billy, and Billy skips to a platform, then it's just free advantage state. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm just I'm just like watching the. It's so hard though. But enough about Billy. Raptor has been playing this incredibly. Um, yeah, like I'm seeing some really good combo game between these two. Between uh, Raptor. This thing, the tech chase, very unfortunate. But going over exactly what I was saying before with, with Yoshi's up smash and the extremity is just going through the, the platform a lot more reliably. Um, just because of how the, it's lowered to the ground. Great tech by Billy. Yeah, that could have been curtains there. Could have been set up for like a, like a forward air or something. But oh, trying to go for the suplex, not going to get anything off of that. But low profiling, yep. Yep, that is consistent in this matchup. Yeah. It, it, any character that has anything that puts them lower to the ground, whether it's jo Joker's normal run, does that. Yes, yeah. I'm pretty sure Yoshi's normal run would do that as well. No way that, oh my, oh god, my god, he didn't land on the stage. Yeah, I, I, can, I, can t I can feel that Billy was trying to hold it in on his soul, like with his soul, to just hit that up, hit like the stage or something, hit the hit, hit the stage or hit the wall of the stage, stage but unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, I honestly thought that they were close enough to the point where that was going to like actually just connect, but I guess not. Yep. All right, so next I think we're going to be getting... Uh, Soul Arts and Cody on stream next. Ooh. I think you should, and uh, you will be playing Mr. E soon. Uh, this wanna, is the, the, I'm, I'm excited to fight him. These are your... and Weezer on stream. Oh, never mind. We're getting Pango. Oh, oh so, I know a lot about this matchup. This is literally my most played matchup of all time. I, li I live with I live with Akazia main. I main Joker and Steve. So this is probably. Oh, you drop Bayo entirely? Yeah, pretty oh. much. I mean, I feel like there's a few matchups where I'd go Bayo, um, but it's more of a player thing at this point. Just because, like, I don't know. I, I feel like when my Joker is as good as it is when it's practiced, and on top of that, I got my controller fobbed, and oh my god. Um, there it is. That's what my phone just wanted to make sure. Um, I got you, I got you. Yeah. So, uh, I got my controller fobbed, and now that I'm able to, like, actually reliably move with that character, oh my god. Why did I leave? Please keep playing, dude. I mean, I'm gonna. Steve, please, Steve is here to stay, though. I love Steve too much to drop him. That's fair, but please but, keep. Please, please keep the Joker. Joker. I mean, I would. Joker sick. Literally two weeks ago, I would have been playing Steve against D Sizzle. Probably. Like, I mean. Most people. Most. I feel like most people. I don't know what I'm like, doing. I, I know there's Bayo, there's Steve, and there's Joker, and no matter what, I'm gonna win. So that's fine. That's um, fair. But I, no, no, dude. <laughs> I'll like, find a way. I, I'm I'm a huge Persona fan, so like. Okay, that's true. Literally, like. Whenever, like, that's why, that's why, like, I love just watching Joker in general, because, like, yeah, he's just he's doing just, the things in the cool. video game he's in another cool. video game. He's just cool. He is just looking cool, Joker. Yeah, he is just looking cool, but, all right, so, yeah, Weezer, you know, was, was it a former DDD main, a former Ryu main, now plays... Oh, he, play, he plays mostly Kazuya, yeah. counterpicks with Ryu and DDD. I've seen all three, but I, I know it's mostly Kazuya. With, with this matchup, I'm pretty sure he goes Kazuya. I'm pretty sure he's going Kaz also. Um, Pango playing Steve. Um, nothing to see here. 
I'm gonna be real. I think that Pango is the. I I would say that he's probably the best team on the island, in my opinion. I'd agree. I would agree with that. I think that, and I don't think it's necessarily because of the results or because of the head-to-heads or because of even his general game plan. It's just his, the way he plays the character. I feel like he has a, a grasp of the character and a creativity aspect to him that a lot of the other Steves don't. I feel like when I picked up the character, I tried optimizing him really hard, and I tried really focusing on the routes that kill early, how to camp best. I feel like when you look at Waidu, he's looking for the best setups, and he's looking for the way that the character is going to be as weird and as fun as possible, because, I mean, let's be real, what else is that going to do? Yeah. Um, but Pango is... Pango's playing Minecraft, and I feel like he's the only one on the <laughs> island who is really just, like, going super far in bracket and just, you know, playing Minecraft. No, like, he's, he's just... He's, it's, it, that's correct, like, honestly. It's, he, he plays... I think he plays to the best of Steve's kit, specifically within the context of Steve, and it's very, very impressive. I love watching Pango. Uh, here we go, we got... And then Weezer in his own sense. Weezer is also a very... Non-traditional Kazuya, I'm gonna be real. Well, he knows how to he knows how to crouch dash. He definitely least. knows how to crouch dash. He knows how to misstep. Yeah. The, the, the thing about it though is that he's so defensive with his movement. He's very very good at just fainting people. So it is gonna be really interesting to see how the the two of them uh, interact with each other. All right. I'm not, but, but but yeah. All right. So Pango just keeps swinging on with that wooden axe with the up tilt. And they, that was like, that's one thing I'm noticing a lot with Pango's been doing like in his like last time he was on stream. Yeah. He's been like utilizing a lot of that up that down smash. I don't know if it's just to apply pressure. So there's there's a few reasons for it. Um, down smash is really 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 fast and really big. Mm. Um, on top of that, it also hits low and prevents Kazuya from rolling. And the thing that Kazuya really struggles at dealing with are low hitboxes. Yes. The one really big downside to this. Is oh my god okay so the down the down smash actually saved him there. Um, the TNT was gonna kill uh, and then the down back into down smash kill uh, uh, in, in, his, in his place, but not gonna matter. Pango's been in complete control this entire time. Um, Nolan not picking the best options to break blocks personally. No, for I, I, is it supposed to be just be F tilt? Like what's the best fair. option? Fair. Fair. If if he's just full hopping the way he is like that. So, like landing fair is so good because it at least forces the blocks to kind of get hit mm -hmm. and you're preventing you're, you might not immediately get steve out of the mining phase but you force him to go into a new one after those blocks break and because of that it's either you catching him mining or you realizing okay if you're gonna place another block and you're gonna place another wall you have to jump so I'm gonna just hit you with an anti air at this point. Yeah. Um, uh, right now, a Pango. It's not gonna matter though. Pango. Pango absolutely. He good. A good SCI. Great yeah, SCI. Great. Great SCI on Weezer's point. Oh, misses. Misses the upbeat. Pango is actually looking for a setup that would have killed. Um, with those up tilts, what you can do is do the the up tilt, place a block at the very apex of the the th uh, three up tilts. Yeah. Down tilt off of it, and because you're standing on the block while the down tilt breaks, it will break underneath you. And then off of that down tilt, while they're still locked in, you mine cart and gold and power cart because of the base knockback, they'll kill them off stage. Interesting. It's really, really powerful. Wow. So that's something that uh, we're just gonna have to look out for. Um, that move is so. Oh no! He can live that though, but oh. he can the gosh, delays it slightly oh too much. Gosh, immediate turnaround here, 51%, and doesn't have any resources too to boot. It's so it's really difficult now. He has to play very, very conservatively and just kind of like focus on just like staying back. Um, but the thing about him using any moves, oh my god, missing the first tech, but like honestly, please make, I, please, the, please make room for setup five. Please make room for setup five. Yeah. The problem with, with him going for first tech there though was because he already created distance with jab, it didn't really help. Also, I really disagree with that. I've been learning the more that I played this matchup, going for Anvil there is never worth it. Okay. Anvil is super good on side B. Right there, look at that fair. The second he went for that fair, the blocks are gone. Oh my gosh, and yeah. once goes for the down smash, not gonna kill just yet. Oh my yet. god, barely lives. He has diamond. He has diamond. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's gonna be able to make it neutral. Gun. I really don't agree with a lot of Pango's ledge trapping there. I really think he should have just crafted it and just played safe. All right, gets the, gets the up. This is so difficult because now not only is there pressure for Pango to craft, but there's pressure for Pango to not get hit by the exact that. And Weezer with the three-star comeback. Yo. 
Cat, I, I'm love. I'm loving this, man. I'm I'm, I'm loving. I know you're a Tekken fan. I, 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 honestly, I get excited whenever there's not even just Tekken. I love fighting games. In okay, general. that's fair. So like, like literally, like right now, if like you know, Scorpion got announced for Ultimate. I wanted like, him. I really wanted him. Or like you know, in retrospect, I'm kind of glad we didn't get him. I I don't know what kind of stuff they would have done with fatalities. Exactly. Yeah. Like that would have been terrifying. I mean, I, I guess that would have been Final Smash. Probably. Yeah, probably would have been the Final Smash. You know, uh, like, like the thing is, the thing is with me, it's like I, I love, I, I love my traditional fighting characters. If it was like Scorpion from, let's say, okay, we don't need Kazuya with Scorpion Whip. What? We don't need, we don't need Kazuya with Scorpion Whip though. That'd be kind of cool. No. No, come no. on, man. No. Let me be a fan. No. Let me be a fan. No. F competitive. The whole point of fighting Kazuya is to platform camp him, and then you give him a tool that makes you not platform camp him. Help. That's scary. Help. I don't like that. You got a point. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but I'm, I'm, but I'm, honestly, I kind of just love watching these, watching this matchup. Like, Steve Kaz is kind of interesting for me. Yeah, like, it's, it's, there's so much. Thing. Here's, here's the thing. I get it. Like, Steve got some shenanigans. Kaz got some connect, some, some shenanigans. Such a good get up attack. It's great. But I will say this: the character, like person, the personality that can ooze from both these players, from both characters' play styles, from different players. It's something that I, I I can't really just explain. Like I look at like the more I feel like the more I look at these different cast Kazuya's almost got the almost got some cheese. Yeah. But um from all from all the different Kazuya's, all the different uh Steve's, I can tell which one is, you know, your your Steve. Exactly. Which one's yes. Pangos, which one's G Wolf, which one's you know, whoever. And let's see what Kazuya. That's also the mark of a top tier character. That's how we know that these characters are super, super viable and, and consistently competitive at top level. We're seeing them so often and we're seeing them work against the majority of the cast. So it's like, and on top of that, there's there's so much like nuance to them to the point where different players who find different things that they like will be able to apply that as well as they can. Yeah. And we've got Nolan. The, the, we literally the the core difference between Nolan and Rachel's Kazuya, right? Yeah. Is their movement. But because we all know Rachel is the super fast, aggressive Kazuya, but Nolan is the one who has equally as much control of, of their movement. But at the same time, the the big difference is that Nolan is so much better at using that movement defensively. Excellent command grab, getting that kill though. Also another thing, also another thing that I'm noticing with with Nolan, it's he he does he he has really good jab pressure. Like he'll like he'll just jab, he'll just yes. jab, and then immediately just grab. Which, Lo which is, is staggering. Which is uh staggering, and it's also called which is called tick grabbing over in yep. fighting game yep. land. Yep. Um. Oh, when God fisted oh. with the electric, when God fisted and gates up hell. Let's go. Like like who goes for that? I'll tell you, it's not people who miss input electric wind god fist and then can still combo into electric wind god fist. All right, bet. Yeah, you got a point there, dog. But it's okay because <laughs> Nolan is talented and he's winning the game, which is all that matters in this case. We're playing Smash Ultimate. It doesn't matter how you get your wins. Weezer has some really good reads, and that's something I got. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> If I'm Pango, I'm tilted. I, I, I'm tilted, man. I, I, I'm a commentator. Well, it's crazy. Ka Ka Kazuya lives that too. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah that is yeah. that is so hard too because it's like when Pango went for that ledge trap, it's he's also using iron instead of dirt, but he needs to be able to go for that like a dirt block and then stand on the ledge and then charge that down smash. That's the same thing. Yeah. Blocks actually have a circular um, hitbox. I'm not sure if you're aware of that, but that is why when you stand on blocks on the very corners, they will not break. But if you stand on the center, it will. You notice how that block I, took no damage? Yep, I noticed that immediately, right as you were the, saying that. The second that you go towards the center or it gets hit, it starts taking a little bit more damage. But if you stand on the, on the edge, then it doesn't take any damage. And that'll also apply if you're like charging a smash attack or something like that. Um, also applies for anvil as well. So if you put an anvil in the corner, that'll also be there. Um, Really? Okay, good bread and butter. That 46 is all you need, and the diamond is here now. I, I don't like I don't like that laser per se. I understand why he did it, try to interrupt the uh, the uh, the mining, but or the forging rather. But uh oh. Oh my God! The, the uppy. He needed a back air there. Uh, Gates of Hell. Uh, actual hitbox. What? No way. Oh, oh my okay. God! GameStop trades. Yeah. Really, really unfortunate trade, but. All right. Weezer taking that. 2 0. Weezer takes it 2 0. Weezer's been on a tear. He, no, he has been. Weezer yeah. has been doing so well recently. No, and, and, I'm, and I'm loving it because, you know, he's representing the traditional fighting game boys. Um, so he's representing the traditional fighting game boys. So I'm a, I'm a little bit biased. I was I was talking with Rachel in the car. Yeah. And we were thinking about a season just in regards to, like, only the events that both we and Nolan have both gone to. Yeah. Four Mr. E wins. Okay. Which by itself is ridiculous. Wins on Chris. 
He has a win on me. Um, who else? Who else does he have wins on? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has a win on Sean. Oh, he totally does. Definitely has a win on at least one. At least one, yeah. Like, wins on Carlos. Wins on Suarez. Mm -hmm. Like he's he's beating everyone. Like he's actually. If I'm being real, my, my my prediction, I think he's probably gonna be like fourth or fifth on LIPR this coming season. Honestly, yeah, he has he has the great stats. All right, good luck in your match, man. Thanks for thanks for joining. Thanks for joining me here. Appreciate you. It was fun. I'll uh hopefully I'll I'll be on for winners semis. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We don't got. What's up? Yo, Dean. Uh, if you have a splitter, then yeah. But right now, guys, we're gonna be getting we're gonna be getting into uh, winners quarter some winners quarters action here, guys. All right, just, uh, just. All right, we're just swapping, we're just swapping around some, uh, some sets. It looks like we're going to be getting. Uh, Dean, now we don't. All right, guys, just due to some technical difficulties, we're actually going to be swapping around the match on stream. It looks like we're going to be getting Reflection versus Mr. E, guys. So Joker, so Joker slash Steve versus Lucina. This is my first time seeing... This is my first time seeing the, di the different... Uh, see, seeing the different... Uh, But again, this is this is going to be a the other side, the other side. Winner of this faces the winner of Soul Arts and Cody, guys. So we're still gonna get some get some top eight qualifying action, guys. Oh my gosh, this is this is actually crazy, guys. We're looking, I'm looking around into the losers bracket. So it looks like yeah, all right, so Pango is going to be... Pango is currently going to be... So right now, Skeet just Skeet just fell to Zenkai. Zenkai is going to be... So it sets up Zenkai versus T-Sizzle. Loser of that gets 17th, and then afterwards, it's gonna, we're going to be getting T-Sizzle versus Pango. You know, what was, I think, either winner's finals or... What was liter, winner's finals or winner's semis last week? It's going to become... Top eight loser. That's gonna be a loser gets ninth situation. Guys, this shows you how kind of tight Long Island is as a region. First off, we have a lot of different characters, which is something I love 
I love to talk about when it comes to like representing. And along with that, we're also kind of godlike. That's probably because I had a massive amounts of pride when it comes to playing when it comes to playing uh, this. But let's move let's move into it, guys. We got Mr. E versus Reflection starting things off on Smashville. And right now, Mr. E just getting 53% off of it. Just trying to take advantage of a, of a little bit of a, of a weird recovery with Joker. Just getting things with, the, trying to get things with the ledge trump back throw. That's gonna not activate him just yet, but just now just got it. Let's see if a Reflection's gonna be able to turn this around with it. G good parry, but no, but no punish off of it. Uses tries to use side B the forward tilt not gonna get not gonna get anything off of it I and I'm loving the uses of the guns here. Let's see if uh, let's see if reflections gonna be able to get To get this he doesn't fall into the aha the full aha hit hit spark, but Right now but right Right now, it's a couple of Dancing Blade situations now. And unfortunately, Reflection's going to fall. Fall and lose his first stock to, to Mr. E right now. But let's see. Oh, tries to go for a... For an up. He's not going to get anything off of this. All right. No, again, not fall, Mr. E not falling for any of Reflection's just jump shenanigans. Tries to get the forward tilt. Not going to get anything off of that. But gets the Tetra car and push him off. And here we go. Yup. <laughs> Not gonna fall for any of that. I love. I love. I'm loving the. Uh, I'm loving the patience between these two. Between these two players. You know, reflection opting not to go for any sort of, any sort of like aggressive option. Just waiting for Mr. E and Mr. E just not biting on that too. But right now, Mr. Uh, reflection struggling to kill Mr. E. He has access to our Sen, but the forward tilt, that's going to take him with a little bit of rage, going to push him off to the side. Oh, here we go with the falling up airs. This is going to activate our Sen now. Let's see if we're going to get a turn, any some sort of turnaround here. Oh, I love it. Great tech also. The counter to try and counteract something here, but... Gets the back throw, throws him off. 92% on, on reflection, the dash tech. Not gonna kill just yet, but reflection manages to get that first, get that first kill on, on Mr. E. Gets the dance, but he doesn't get the last hit. All right, gets the down throw into, into forward air. And, and not gonna get anything off of that. Gets the, trying to get the grappling hook. Uh, falling up air, not gonna kill just yet. All right, yeah, d forgot about the second hit. Going to have to optimize, uh, opt to do something, but gets in with the back here, and that's going to take it. All right, so let's see. Reflection losing um, losing that first round. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're going to be seeing. I think what we're going to, I think what we might see is we might see a character switch, depending on the counter pick. What What is Mr. E going to ban? No, we're gonna see. We're gonna see uh, reflection stick to the Joker. Actually, <clears throat> I'm not. How, I'm not sure how often these two have played, but we're gonna go right to town and city again. Makes sense. We're gonna make sense for character like Joker. You know, utilize a lot of mobility. But man, not falling for the gu for the double gun tricks and immediately Mr. E just, just swats reflection with a forward smash and the reflection and the the pressure is on against reflection gets the down air into the forward smash has our sen yep opts to use again but but great stuff great teching with the up b arguably the worst the like the lesser of two joker of two joker recoveries Able, really easily, really able to be uh, called out by it. Fall, gets the fallout, gets the forward air, but yeah, gets the down tilt and calls out the non-tech down smash. Mr. E is, you know, on a terror right now. Is on a terror right now, just knows how to face off against reflection. But here we go, great air dodge to avoid anything. 
And again, oh, no punish. There it is. That gets the kill spark. Not gonna kill just yet though, just that slightly enough percentage. And great angle to avoid a down air getting spiked immediately. Back throw throws him off. Yeah, I, again, you know, Mr. E is ready for these for these uh, Tetrakarn uh, edge guards and all right, I like I like the usage of it. And again, the, both these characters have to dip super low just to get just, and have to delay their uh, recoveries because they're immediately going to get they're immediately going to get stuffed. But again, another down tilt into down smash. Reflection is going. Reflection is currently onto his winter stock here. Not able to get anything back here. Thirty one percent calls the persona. Fifty one percent. Oh man, this is looking this is looking like a slugfest right now for for Mr. E. Really wanting to finish this off. That's the Tetracarn, but Mr. E is able to successfully sl slip onto stage. All right, again, the falling up bears. Oh, tries to call it, call a roll, a, an aggressive roll in option, but ah, just some some spotty DI. And Reflection's going to fall 2-0 to Mr. E. Good stuff to Mr. E. Making it, deciding, making it in deci uh, decisively into, into uh, top eight here at Smash Emporium number two. Right, guys we're just waiting we're just waiting on a couple of other matches to catch up on stream we're gonna be waiting <laughs> all right right as i say that we got guy guy and weezer coming on the stream so we got luigi versus kazuya That's winners. That's gonna be winners semis, guys. What was the score of the last stream now? 2-0. 2-0 who? A 2-0, uh, Mr. E. Sorry, the microphone keeps falling over, guys. So I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like keep it at like a certain place so it doesn't like, so it doesn't like keep falling over. So we're going to be getting some Kazuya versus Luigi. Zero to d these these two, you know. Don't don't know how often these two play play since like since you know the time skip since the change to uh, since Weezer made the change to uh, Kazuya. So right now we're going to go, going to start things off at Smashville. Again, a small stage, keep these two being, being scrappy and such. All right, gets the jab into the back throw. Where are we going to go for this? Going to try to go for, a for an early ledge trap, but a great... Again, Weezer has really... We Weezer just opting to just immediately counter with an up B. 
for any neutral getup or even a jump. Just a great option coverage from these, from uh, from Weezer. Let's see, tries to go for the snipe, but the misfire immediately going to going to block that. All right, let's see though. Tries to get the neutral air. Good getup attack, but gets the electric. Oh, he tried to go for the second electric. Not going to get it. All right. Yeah, just the forward smash to get it. And gets the snipe immediately afterwards. Weezer's playing really well today. Gets the putt. Gets the one. Gets the putt, one one two. Not going to get it. Anything off of that. Gets the t up tilt. No follow up after that on Guy Guy side. Right now, Weezer. Weezer, you know, trying his best to slow this down as much as possible. While rising one and. <laughs> Erase and Weezer erases that stock and takes game number one decisively in less than a minute and a half. All right, let's see where we're gonna go for count for the counter pick. Might not return to Smashville. I'm not sure what, what type of stage that uh that guy guy usually likes to take for the count for the CP here. All right, here we go. This time, Guy Guy actually getting some confirms of his own. Gets 88% on on Weezer, 98%, and still going. Let's see if we're gonna, let's see if you know Weezer's gonna be able to come back with able to respond with anything. But right now, Guy Guy is walling out Weezer with these slew of with these slew of normals. Gets the normal normal gets the normal getup attack and just hits like a truck. Try to get the the wall standing, but immediately gets the wall, gets the misstep into the into the rage drive. Not going to kill just yet, but immediate catch up on these two. The up B, the up B not gonna nobody home for that, and a great back air to just immediately alleviate some of the pressure. Good down B to to again just cover a lot of options here, and the up B again just touching just touching uh, Kazuya on a shield. Up B is a great response for this. Uh, th the air dodge not going to make it. Unfortunate. Unfortunate for, for Weezer, but, you know, not out of it yet. Hopsing to go for the for the 10 hit string and then goes for the flash hit combo. Again, just trying to get something started here. And, oh, man, gets clipped by the down B of, by, by the Luigi Tornado. And, all right, here we go. Nothing after that, but he just honestly, I think he was just waiting for him to do that up B out of shield that, you know, Weezer has been able to get away with that to a degree. Now, you know, Guy Guy is not letting letting him stand for that. So let's see, gets the fall into the down B and that's going to, that's going to take a Guy Guy is now decisively in the lead with, with, the, with a three to one, with a three to one stock. All right, here we go. We got the zero to death. Good SDI from Weezer to avoid anything. To av He's still living, but again, all right, good patience. The auto turnaround, not gonna, not gonna factor anything, not pressing so some sort of button. And get, gets the first hit of Twin Pistons, and I guess not gonna get it just yet, but, but gets the back air. Weezer on the ropes, has Rage at the, has Rage at the ready. All right, gets the again the, the get up attack. And that's looking to be it for game number 2. All right, so Let's see where are we going to go for this for the, for this counter pick in game 3 now.
All right, so let's see. Ah, uh, brother, be in front, yeah. All right, we're gonna go to the battlefield. Yeah, we got good sportsmanship. I saw that handshake, guys. All right, so. All right, but next, guys, we're gonna be going. We're going to be going into game three here, guys. Winners, winner of this gets into some three out of five action with into the winner's finals. These two making this an absolute slugfest. Right now, we're playing neutral for the first 15 seconds until probably the first hit gets hit. There we go. 42% on, on, on Weezer, but Guy Guy not opting to go for anything, but gets the immediate roll in and gets a good Shoryuken. And a second one, not going to kill just yet because Kazuya is a heavy man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of uh, I'm hearing some things from the players goes for the down tilt into the 50-50 not going to get a kill just yet oh no that's going to probably kill yes it will <laughs> oh man All right, gets the flash hit combo. Weezer guys using utilizing the best movement he can, but gets the kit, gets gets the uh, the heaven's door. All right. Oh, he misses the confirm. But did he really actually? Oh no! Get <laughs> guy guy gets the confirm, but misses the sure you can gets the down B. That's not gonna kill Battlefield. Such a big, such a big stage. Still gets the falling up air, not gonna kill just yet. Gets the upbeat, no, not gonna kill. Still, uh oh, not like this. All right, the back air gonna kill this time. Oh man, I lo I'm I'm, lo I'm loving this 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 play for both these players. Um, let's see, guy, 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 you know, just has the lead, trying to. Trying to get himself, you know, away from these zero to deaths or any any of these conversions from from Weezer. Same way Weezer doesn't want to get convert get get a down throw into death. So he's avoiding all these throws. Gets the forward tilt. And here we go. Here comes the electric. Tries to get the tries to get it, but not gonna. Oh, gets it. Caught him DIing. Got him, caught him DIing roughly. But here we go. The electric not gonna hit this time. Oh, Weezer 0 for three on that on on the on those conversions. <laughs> I love that. I love that we're trying to see this. But again, misses on the upbeat conversion against against Guy Guy. And gets the read. <laughs> and Guy Guy's gonna move into the winners finals 2-1 over Weezer. So moving on to this, we're going to be getting Mr. E versus Cody on the other side of Winter, Winter Sebi's here. Winner of this gets some three out of five action.
Yo, player four, thanks for the follow, dude. How you doing, dog? But going into this, guys, we're going to be going Mr. E versus Cody. You know, Peach versus Peach versus Lucina, guys. I think we're just doing a quick button check here. So while we're doing that, guys, remember, to, remember to, of course, to Number one, I haven't said this yet at all to this tonight, and I feel ashamed of myself. Support your locals, whether it's Smash, whether it's FGC, whether it's Pokemon, or hell, even a local board game night. Support your locals, guys. How you make a scene thrive, supporting is the first way to support your locals, whether it's just retweeting out the stream, hitting the follow button, all that jazz, guys. Hope you got... And, uh, and of course, if you guys want to join in the fun, we are here every Thursday. Every Thursday at 2705 Hempstead Turnpike in Levittown. We, we, and we have, and we, and we pre rich follow, follow, follow the Twitch, Cyanotic Senku, and of course, follow the Twitter at Cyanotic Senku. Same, same place you found it. Just hit that copy and paste button into twitter.com and follow, follow us there. So, yeah, guys. Looks like that's the end of the button check, so... And every Thursday here we have singles and AMI bracket. We have amateur bracket. We have amateur bracket. So if you land outside of a certain threshold, I think last week was top eight. This week it's top 16. You get, you get, you get the ability to fight for free entry next week. Also, if we have space for it, bring a setup, full setup. So it has to have, you know, a GameCube adapter along with all the DLC, Switch, Dock, HDMI, all that jazz. That and you don't have to play pay venue, but if but if you want but if you need to pay venue, put uh you know if you, if you if you need to pay venue, no worries. It helps support it helps support the uh it helps support the uh store and stuff, so we can keep getting some more kick ass uh, brackets for you guys. And of course, if you guys are not into the smash into the uh, smash stuff, every Saturday except for the Saturdays we run over in Legendary Realms, every Saturday here, same location, 2705 Hempstead Turnpike. We have fighting games galore, traditional fighting games. We have Guilty Gear Strive. We got, we got Tekken 7. We're, and we're starting to add KOF 15. You know, all those guys who have their pocket shingos come out next Saturday. That's our first KOF bracket. The 21st, yep. But let's get into, let's get into the game, guys. We got Mr. E rocking the Lucina. Cody. Uh, rock, rock in the peach and look at these conversions off the fall, off, off, double falling up here. And here we go, the dash attack to push himself, to, to, Cody to push himself backwards. Got the stitch, it's gonna, gonna knock, gonna knock Mr. E off stage. Not gonna kill just yet though. So, you know, hold your horses. 
good parry, but no punish off of that. They both trade back airs and and Cody's gonna be taking that first taking first blood in this set here. Remember, guys, two out of three here. Still in the winner's semis bracket. And these two are gonna trade off immediately. And here we go. Just there's that item play I was like. I felt was missing from Cody's play against um, uh, Smurf Poster, but I think that's an, I think that was another. Uh, I think that was another uh, <laughs> stitch face. But here we go. Gets the back air. Gonna fall off. Trying to clip again the up B, the, the vertical, the vertical uh, recovery. Not going to. Throws uh, Mr. E to the other side. Great parry off of it. Tries to go for a forward smash. I think that was just supposed to be a back air or anything, but not gonna get it just yet. All right, gets the falling there, back air, knocks him off again. Let's see, great perfect pivots and great fade away to avoid that back air. All right, yep, I'm gonna have to side beat him for safety. Great fade away again, doesn't get the ledge trump though. These two, these two just trying to cling on to the second stock as much as they can. Back throw, throws him off, what's for, what's for the ledge trap? Oh, tries to call something out with the counter, but just barely able to make it. Mr. E saving that jump as much as he can. Immediate, like, clip with the up B and hits him with it. Here we go. Up throw. Not going to take it just yet. And that, But that forward air is going to take it. Immediately knocks, him, knocks Mr. E to his last stock of game number one. Let's see if Mr. E is going to be able to, to close out this deficit. All right, great. Immediately just forward, forward tilts him away. And now the Nair just barely able to kill off of the blast zone. Gets the, and gets the back throw. What's for breakfast here? I love the up tilt trying to get, trying to you know, clip, clip a really bad float, but not gonna get anything off of that. Falling up airs again and again. And again, C Cody really trying to get something out, get out, get, <laughs> trying to stay out of this range. Mr. E desperately trying to go for a up throw kill. 193 letting Mr. E. But a, <laughs> the first time I've seen a down smash from Peach, I get why. But the forward air, that's going to kill Cody off the top. Now, only 42% on Mr. E. As I say that, you know, we got, some, we got a good conversion to get to 30%. Great. And here comes this ledge pressure. Mr. E able to throw something, but blocks it, gets, the, gets hit with the back air. And another one. And gets hit with the side beat. Let's see, let's see Mr. E trying to get something cooking here. Cody playing a little too far. I appreciate the counter, but you know, I think it was because Cody was on that magical percent that uh, he got back, he, he was able to survive that. Desi 90s, thanks for the follow, dude. I appreciate you, dog. But we're gonna be going to the counter pick for town and city. Again, we're, we're, we're sticking to, true to this. We're sticking to these two characters. I don't think, I don't think Mr. E or Cody have another character they can they can swap towards. But here we go. Gets the falling gets the falling up air into into the turnip throw. Cody still keep keeping keeping track of this though. Double jab, not gonna. But double jab. Let's see. I'm I'm loving this. I'm loving that play. I like. I understand the dolphin slash there. Able to land on the platform to keep it safe. Don't think Cody was was able to able to punish off of that, but. All right, side B, no punish off of it, no parry either. Uh, and I and I love what Mr. E's trying to do to get an early kill, trying to clip, trying to clip uh, Cody, Cody recovering with a 
with a back air or an up air. Nothing, but nothing after that, though. Here we go. Throws it away. And again, these two just near similar percentages. Oh, no. A big up smash. Not going to get the kill. Misses the dancing blade, but a great whiff. And the forward and the forward is gonna and the forward is gonna take it. Cody is now going Cody playing from behind for the first time this set. But this time here goes the forward air, not gonna take it just yet. Here throws up the turn up, able to use the invincibility to avoid it. But the falling back air auto canceled into another back air, not gonna make it, not gonna kill just yet. Still has his jump. Mystery really good at re using that resource management. Cody again trying to get Cody trying to threaten something here. All right, gets the down throw. Activates the counter at the, uh, la the last possible frame. Good, stu good stuff. To good stuff to Cody. Not uh, able to not get hit for up to 31% here. All right, gets... All right, gets the side, gets the side B off of it onto. Try uh, right now. Mystery has not been able to. Mystery, Mystery has not been able to. Has been able to shut out Cody, landing back to stage. But here we go. Great ledge trapping, and we're gonna get a little bit more of that. Oh, I like the I like the 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 slow empty jump. Not gonna get a kill just yet, but great item play again from Cody. I, it's been a while since I've seen him play, and this is like a really good you know invitation to see it. Here we go again. Great tech off of the off of the dolphin slash. All right, just hold shield. Ops to go for the up throw. I understand why. Trying to trying to get a kill, but Town City has a high ceiling. Avoiding it, the forward tilt. That's gonna kill, especially at the opposite ledge. All right, gets hit with the forward. The forward air not going to be able to hit, not be able to kill just yet. Good holds, holds down the pressure, throws it downward, juggling again with the up airs. All right, goes for an up for a down smash. Not gonna hit just yet. Gets a again very lingering hitbox on that side B. Hits him with the reverse nair. Now Cody is up seventy five percent. It has seventy five percent on uh on this. Let's see if we're gonna be able to go to a game two. All right, here we go the back throw, the back throw from Co for Cody off the ledge. Where we're we gonna go? Get neutral get up, but this time again, Mr. E just not opting to turn around and hits him with the forward air, and now of an up air. Mr. E's gonna take this to game three. All right, though, guys, we're going to go run it, run it to Hollow Bastion for Game 3. For Game 3, winner of this goes into winner's finals here, folks. Very important, very important. You know, you get in here, you're, in the, you're, you're winning some semblance of money here, at least winning your money back. All right, for right now, you know, these two trying to feel each other out. Mr. E just swatting away with these, with two forward tilts. But immediately, Cody's going to answer back with a conversion of his own. Let's see if, let's see if we're going to be able to get something started here. <laughs> these two clanking at each other, just pressing these buttons.
All right, here we go. The forward throw throws him off. Great pivot grab. And I'm seeing a lot of this, and I'm seeing a lot of turn of play from Co from from Cody that seems to, that seems to be working out, pushing Mr. E into 127 percent. You know, but let's see here. Back throw immediately. All right, gets the, again, the, throws the turn up away here. Falling down air. No punish off of that. Too high to get a forward smash immediately afterwards. And Cody just trying to run, try, trying to land for, for now. Gets back thrown off the stage. Has to use the umbrella. No punish off of the air dodge, too. All right. Right now, I'm also starting to notice that Cody is, like, speeding up his recovery. As if he's not even going to wait for the for Mr. E's uh, counter counter off of it, you know, Mr. And Mr. E again, not, not opting to go for it, staying in, staying in let, staying in shield, opting not to, opting to risk that uh, shield poke. And here we go again, another uh, another neutral getup. I understand why he's seeing Mr. E just facing away from uh, from Cody at the ledge. Trying to read like a roll or maybe even a get up attack or something. But right now, you know, against stocks are even. Gets clipped by a turn up into a dash attack. All right. Oh my gosh. They two, the two move right through each other with the dancing blade situation. All right. Reads the reads the get up attack from Mr. E. And now we have some some ledge play, some ledge uh, ledge trapping from Cody himself. Forward throw. Get him off the stage again. Again, just trying to, to smash throw that uh that down throw. Not gonna get anything off of it. Falling back air. All right. Again. Trying to get again. Cody just in the driver's seat. Gets the back air, and now Mr. E is. And Mr. E is now currently on his on his tournament stock. You know, see if he's gonna be able to get something started here with this ledge trap situation. Up B's immediately to avoid any sort of a any sort of uh you know bread and butter from Cody to try avoid and alleviate as much damage as he can. But, oh boy, not like this. Mr. E currently taking 76%, but able to, to, but able to just forward tilt and swat away. Cody away. Oh, tries to get the ledge trump, not gonna get it, but gets the dancing blade to keep the pressure going. All right, oh, covers the roll with the down smash hitting on both sides. I like it. Only 76%. Not in kill percentage just yet. Can't take another conversion, or else he will be in kill percent afterwards. All right, there's the falling up air. Let's see if Mr. E is going to be able to clutch this out. He gets the first lick, and, and, but Cody spaces away that forward air. That forward air. So here we go. Again, just Mr. E just hugging that wall to avoid any sort of. Any turn up right now. Back air into forward air. Not gonna take it just yet. Gets the falling down or not, not gonna not, not gonna get any more pressure. And the up smash out of shield, that's gonna take it. <laughs> These two. 
these two currently, they gentlemen's a small battlefield, but now they're, uh, they're trying to decide where they're going to go for the music counterpick. So right. So right now we're gonna. So right now we're going to the winners' finals matchup here. Small battle. Small battlefield. I think these two play quite a lot. So I feel like you know it's gonna be these two just trying to weed each other out, try to call each other's habits and such. But here we go against the four. Get here we go, guy guy getting some sort of a confirm here into the down B, but not gonna kill. Had the turn up, ha forces the the turn up to reset. All right, full finishes the jab combo. On block, not going to be able to, not going to be able to uh, get a bit of a punish off of that. All right, big up smash, not but able to push him away. All right, gets the back throw and the down tilt. All right, gets the forward air, knocks him off stage. <laughs> guy, guy, able to catch that turn up. <laughs> And gets the back throw this time. The smaller stage gonna be able to come to Guy Guy's benefit there. That back throw actually opting to kill. But here we go. Calls out the air dodge downward with an up smash, 44%. And a fireball into a grab. Guy Guy is Guy Guy is currently in the driver's seat and and just and just opting to just play dominant. Able to catch that, able to catch that turn up, just Z drops it immediately. Gets hit with the Zare, down throw into back air. There we go. Kai Guy. Kai Guy able to keep himself go keep himself moving. And here we go. Tries to get the the falling there. And and right now these two just trying to trade each other off. Kai Guy has yet to lose his first stock here in the winner's final setup. And let's see if let's see if uh, Cody's gonna be able to get something here. Gets a couple of up air up tilt into up tilt. 65% able to get a lot of these options covered, but whiffs goes for a huge grab and unfortunately whiffs and is gonna lose his first stock here. All right, gets hit with the down air into back air. Not gonna take anything off just yet. Again, just has Cody on the on the ledge, but great spot dodge to avoid that. Gets the back air, push him away. All right, gets hit with the turn up into a down tilt, into forward tilt. Again, great tech into the into the umbrella. Whiffs the on the down B has to use have to use that, but here we go. Has the turn up in hand, throws it away. Forward air, knock him off stage. Miss spaces the turn up throw and gets the gets the nair. And immediately whiffs after that the down the down are gonna immediately car carry a uh, guy guy up. Not gonna but not gonna kill just yet. But the back throw might. It's not just not yet. Cody struggling to kill guy guy has his jump able to recover on the other side of the stage. You know has to avoid that back air or a side B from Cody. This time this time not finishing the uh, the the uh, jab combo and gets an up smash to take it to game two. <laughs> Alright, these two just gonna go right right back into it though. I'm like just like I'm just like right now just checking uh like the bracket right now and Right now they're gonna go they're gonna run into battlefield, you know, opting to use more platform pl to have, possibly going to see some uh, see some platform play right now, but 
Here you go. Good parry. Good parry off the down tilt. Not able to... Just outside of Luigi's grab range, so... Yeah, as you guys heard, you know, from, from uh, you know, T.O. from T.O. Dean. Uh, he, winner of the amateur bracket does get free, free bracket entry, so, you know. $5, $5 off when you enter, pretty much, if you win the Ami bracket. Great incentive for you to keep playing. But right now, this incentive, these two are going at it. Um... All right, guy, guy, trying to trying to get a grab, trying to get a grab off of a uh, gentleman's a jab one to jab two gets the down B somehow ducks underneath that uh that turn up. All right, again here comes that item play has to save that jump. I don't think he's gonna make it. Yeah, not gonna make it. Just just gonna be a little too short for that. All right, great defense from Cody. You're trying to avoid. Any sort of kill option from uh, from Guy Guy, and this time on the air, air gets hit with the back air, and now Guy Guy is able to get this, but that's a bomb. Gotta be careful. All right, no one gets hit by that. All right, trying to get the trip with the down, with the down air, down tilt. Not gonna get anything off of it. But here we go, falling there into up air again. Not getting the full conversion off of this. Great SDI from from Cody to avoid this just really familiar with this I guess really familiar with this uh, matchup all right again here we go gets the down tilt into the up B this time going for the more comfortable kill confirm I, the 50 50 not going to be working here so so guy guy currently has a very comfortable lead, but he but he's currently at ledge against Cody. But here we go, falling there into up up tilt. Uh oh, big punish with the up smash. Not gonna kill just yet. Battlefield being a much bigger stage. Again, guy guy trying to call out that uh guy guy trying to call out call out like a roll in or something. Now tries to get the ledge trump. Cody trying to get this stock as as desperate as he can. Gets the turnaround grab into the back air. Throw him off to the side. Good parry, doesn't get the sweet spot, but gets the down smash, two frames, but still going to live. And there's the, there's the down B, not going to get any kill spark, not going to kill just yet. Oh, was able to take a guess, but not, but not a right guess. This time avoiding the, the grab, but that down B, that down B is a, that down B is a great combo breaker. All right, guys, we're running it right back to regular battlefield here, folks. You know, guy, guy up 2-0 in the set. Goes for, tries to go for a big punish with that. Tries to go for a big hail mary with that up B. Able to block it. Cody's shield looking like a skittle, and not gonna, and not gonna get something started here. And so with the side B, gets him, get, and hits with a down tilt forward air. That's gonna drift into the first set, the first set. Here we go, but here we go. We got Cody currently on, currently off stage. Gets hit with the with the parasol. Not gonna be able to get able to separate enough, able to separate anything from here. But here goes. It's the down B. But right, but right now, you know these two have even, these two have even stocks. Guy guy trying to get something, try, guy guy trying to, you know, get something started here. Cody just phasing in and out with these, with these aerial options. And the turnips also. These two are just, just get, becoming scrappy all of a sudden, the back air. 
All right. This time, Ops just immediately go to the ledge. Oh my gosh, the the the, the extending the hitbox with the uh, Zare, with the Zare projectile. I I I'm not sure if that if that up down smash would have uh, killed him. But here we go. Gets the gets get some up up air action. All right now get, gets get, calls up the miss tech with a with a dash attack gonna push him off stage. Gets it and gets an up B out of and gets the up B. Managed to get the shore you can and immediately gonna get, makes the socks even. Oh boy, here comes the conversion time. Cat, he's about to catch up. Doesn't get the second grab though. He needed that. He needed that to, to just complete to catch up. There we go. Gets the Zare hitbox to the forward tilt. Not gonna take anything off. Ducks right underneath the turnip. All right. Again, now it's now we're now it's dangerously close between these two. Forward airs him off stage. Where is he gonna go? Gets clipped by the down air. Not gonna get hit yet. Throws the throws the smash tack down. All right. These two just really even. Next hit. You know. Next. Next. It's gonna hit. All right, gets the jab into the grab, Call, calls out the air grab, but not gonna, calls out the air dodge, not gonna kill just yet. Guy, guy, that might kill. Oh, it drifts away. All right, guys, so we're going to be going into this next match. It's going to be Mr. E versus T-Sizzle in Loser's Quarters.
Mister, he's just trying to see if we can get uh, controller issues right now. We'll be right back. Give us one second, okay? Yo, Swagmaster, thanks for the follow, dude. Right now, you know, uh... So right now, you know, Mr. E just had a little bit of technical difficulties with his controller. Um, right now he's currently borrowing mine. <laughs> So, uh, if Mr. E wins, I vote that I get 1% of the pot. What do you think about that, Dean? <laughs> Fair. Facts. Facts. <laughs> yeah, we're getting, we're getting mad people following, guys. Like, we appreciate you guys. Like, This is Cyan here. Appreciate anyone who has followed the stream. Be sure to keep up with anything I'm streaming. It's mostly going to be events. Uh, we're going to have Burst Collectors next Saturday, not this Saturday. And then, of course, Smash the Emporium every Thursday. Oh, yeah. But anyway, guys, we got Mr. E versus T Sizzle coming into coming coming at you guys live. Let me switch that around for you folks. Mr. E going with the Lucina T Sizzle. I, I've been listen. I've been. I know I've been very positive, being very like happy with with him because honestly, I don't see Toon Link often. Mr. E, I, you know, I see I see that Lucina all the time. Like it's my day job. I used to commentate freaking Mr. E in, in semis of anything. So I'm excited. So I'm, so, so I'm excited about this. So I'm, ex I'm excited to see what's going to happen here. Mr. E just not giving T-Sizzle any room to throw projectiles and has been swinging at this man for the, the, for the last tw 20 seconds or so. Gets hit with the forward air, immediately just utilizing it. Tries to get the, tries to get the, uh, the parry, but not going to get a hit off of it. Gets hit with the boomerang and swipes it away. What's the ledge trap? The de a delay dancing blade. This time getting the fourth swing, and this time hitting it. Again, right off the angel platform. You know, TC is able to uh, able to make some sort of adjustment to a to immediately get this, but gets the jab lock into the dancing blade again, lapping him in percent. Gets it with the down tilt, trying to go for a ledge trap. 
T Sizzle has been T Sizzle. All the players on Long Island have been able to just grab onto ledge super late, and that's something I just want to point out. You know, that's why you know we're not getting hit with a lot of these aggressive options. But gets hit with the nair. The bomb not going to explode. Now it's going to and able to zare to uh, to tether grab. Gets hit with the down tilt into the forward air, moving him back. I love and I'm, and again here comes that pressure. That getting hit with the boomerang for like a slight second to make that forward tilt a little bit, a little bit safer. All right, here we go. Gets trying to swipe again at the shins, but not going to shield poke just, just yet. And catches him jumping. Now T Sizzle was able to answer back with a grab of his own, with with an up smash. And right now though, T Sizzle is still just at 150 percent. It's the nair, hits the nair to the up tilt. There we go. All right, gets the nair into the forward air, 45%. Yeah, <laughs> immediately gonna T says immediately gonna fall there, using his jump a little too fast. Mr. E has been putting on so much aggression in this last in in that in that uh, first game. We're probably going to be going to like Town and City or like Hollow Bastion or even Kalos for game two. Give, give, uh, you know, see if we can get the tank to, uh, some time to run around and stuff. Oh my gosh! Look at look at that immediate aggression. Forward air into forward air. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Mr. E just wants to get Mr. E just wants to get back into the uh, into the finals immediately. Look at this look at this pressure and look at this uh, edge guarding here. This co this ledge play is super clean. Just hit with some falling up airs into the into some bomb shenanigans. Gets hit out of it by the boomerang. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mr. E is in the driver's seat. I like and not giving T Sizzle any 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 chance. Right. He's able to ke play catch up a little bit. Drops the bomb and let's see if T Sizzle is gonna be able to get something great. Great conversion off of that. All right, again, Mr. E just trying to. Mr. E has T Sizzle at the uh, at the ledge. Not going to be able to get get anything off of this yet, though. But here we go, 52% and building, 67%. Doesn't get anything off of the dash attack. No grab, but falling falling up air and and gets and gets the falling up air again. Calls the spot dodge. Tries to read a read a uh, roll in. Not going to get anything off of it. And this time he's going to get the down air into up air. 135%. The back air, is that going to kill? It is. Too well. Yep. This three versus tweezer on the stream. So we're still we're going into the loser semis matchup here, guys. So we're still in two out of three. So winner of this gets to face off against Cody. In losers finals here, guys. But again, two out of three, two out of three right now. So we're gonna have Kazuya. They're gonna have Kazuya versus. We have Kazuya versus Lucina.
We'll be right back, guys. We'll be right back, guys, after uh, this intermission. All right, uh, I just got the okay from, uh, no, I'm not actually going for it, but uh, I, I just got the okay from uh, from our head TO. So right now, yeah, game audio is currently gonna be missing, guys, because we don't, we don't, we don't got a, we don't, right now we don't got a, a splitter, an audio splitter, so unfortunately we have, uh, so right now one of our players here, he uses headphones to help listen into the audio with the speakers. So unfortunately we are gonna be missing video audio, guys. Well, a lot of our like electro uh, electrical equipment got uh, delayed. It'd be like that sometimes, honestly, guys. But we're gonna get we're gonna be getting moving on, getting started here. Weezer versus Mr. E in loser semis, two out of three situation here. So Lucina versus Kazuya. You know, these two, a very controversial set last night for from uh, Gotham because, you know, Mr. E had some controller issues causing a pause and Weezer opting to say, we take those, cause a complete Twitter storm. But right now, Nolan said, you know what? If it happens again, I'll just let it roll. <laughs> and right now, Weezer trying to get some, trying to get some of those, uh, trying to get some of those cheesy kills with with Kaz, but <laughs> fair, fair and Daener, Mr. E is just, Mr. E's conversions has been 
on point from last set. Don't know how he's been playing for the rest of this rest of the tournament because I've been sitting here and making sure that this bench is warm. But but you know th this is this has been some great adjustments right now for Mr. E falling in the winners bracket. Good parry off of it. All right, here we go. Gets the gets gets the near. Try, gets an electric, but not going to get a conversion off of it just just yet. I'm trying to get the dragon uppercut, not going to get anything off of it. Swatting away with the fares. All right, falling and, and gets the, and the up air. I can see why Mr. E, Mr. E and, and Nolan chose this this stage. There's the punish. No punish off of that. Unfortunate. He should have just trying to trying to get a little greedy. Should have just gone for the damage immediately. Good air dodge to make it back. And the up air, just such a fast option. Up B, not going to punish anything off of that. But now Weezer has rage. Trying to get like a tricky like aerial or something. Gets the falling up air. Not going to get anything off of it just yet. But here we go. Near one. Nolan doesn't have access to rage. And here goes the one one two. That's gonna take the first stop. That's that's gonna take Mr. E's first stock. You know, a forward air to throw forward throw throw him off. Gets the very tip of it. Not gonna kill just yet. And gets the kill spark. Uses has to has to opt to use the laser to to stall things out. All right, lands on and land, lands on the stage. Now Weezer really desperate to get that, that get that electric, but the Nair not gonna kill just yet. Kazuya, Kazuya is a very heavy man when it comes to this. When it comes to this, and even on a smaller stage like Smashville, is still going to live into the percentages like this. All right, a falling up air, gonna gonna keep it going, but the Nair that's going to take Weezer's second stock. Here, here. So let's let's see if uh. Let's see. Let's see if Oiz is going to be able to get something here. Maybe an electric. Maybe maybe a hell sweep. Something to get. Something to get something started here. Mister E patiently holding that high ground and because he knows he doesn't have to go in. And that's one scary. That's one scary devil man. All right. Gets the side B. Gonna off to try and go for some double nair shenanigans. Not going to use it just yet. All right, just hits back, gets hit backwards. Ninety-four percent, ninety-five percent. All right, <laughs> trying to use the shield breaking one, the shield breaking uh, axe kick. Not gonna get it off of it. And oh my gosh! That's my controller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're, they're, right now they're discussing bands I heard Small Battlefield and Hollow Bastion. And understandable, under, understandably so. so. Going to Kalos just so uh, Kazuya can live as uh, long as possible. Again, sticking to the Kazuya, I like it. You know, the Kazuya has been getting some results for the guy. And we're, go we're going to Kalos, but we're going to Kalos here, guys. Let's see. All right, trying to get the, trying to get the devil, trying to get the devil laser here. You know, Weezer really. Weezer opting to, you know, go go for the more go for the more uh, <laughs> defensive play style that he's known for. Gets an anti-air electric that does 17 percent. That does 17 percent, and now it's even. Right? Yeah. Right now, here we go. This is exactly what. Th this is definitely some tech and neutral right now. And here we go. Here comes the big confirm. Doesn't get the down B immediately, immediately afterwards, but. All right, but yeah, now now he's got to, now he's able to relax a little bit. Gonna get hit a couple of times. Forty nine percent on, on the side of Mister e, on the side of uh, Weezer, and gets the electric into the up smash now. Okay. All right, gets the stone head. 
into the electric again pit twin pistons into nair try to go for the big down smash send him at send him to send him to the to the shadow realm not going to gets hit with gets hit again gets hit with the falling up air get hits him with the with the demon scissors downwards tries to get him with the oni kick not going to get a hit yet just yet oh i love and i love the and I love that turnaround. What happened, Weezer opting to delay with the laser, thinking, and and Mystery fell for the bait, thinking that he was gonna get hit, he was gonna, he was gonna trigger something with the upbeat, but, oh boy. So, good stuff on Weezer to, uh, you know, to change that up. Great tech! <laughs> we tech those, dude. All right, get, immediately gets blocked by the by the, uh, by the electric. Not gonna kill just yet. Here we go, double double swipe. Weezer saves his Weezer saves his uh, jump, but he didn't touch the ground yet. That's this is, this is scary. And it's for for Mr. E honestly because he immediately made that immediate turnaround and now has to block and now has to hold this. Oh, a. Oh my gosh! Again, that tick that, was, that tick grab from from Weezer really really just dominate. He just really gets in your head the swipe again has to use his resources got to be careful doesn't have doesn't have has like maybe 20 more percent of rage don't want to get hit gets hit with the back air up bees away lance away a good roll and the up be out of shield weezer's gonna be going up one one we're going to game three Remember, remember, guys. Winner of this faces off against Mr. Against uh, Cody. Hot set alert. All right, so it's now it's now Mr. E's turn to counter pick, and Nolan's turn to ban. We're gonna see how this one, how how these two are gonna go. That's my garbage. Yeah, thank you. And we're going to go to town and city for the counter pick. Makes sense, you know, a lot of room to run around. Avoid those big hulking arms from Kazuya Mishima. All right, and immediately off the bat, Weezer is just going to start misstepping in. To, it, to see if he can get anything, get maybe punish an unsafe option like this, but the auto turnaround did not activate at that moment, so he wasn't even able to get a flash punch combo. All right, double jump, double juggle with the up air. All right. Again, again, you know, Mr. E trying to trying to get an early kill with this, with. Again and again, you know, Mr. E not getting the counter that he wants and trying to hope that Weezer goes for an, for an early kill option, but cut, catches the miss, catches the miss tech into a down smash. Now Weezer has a little bit of a mountain to climb. Mr. E has a great lead to go off of in his counter pick already working. All right. You know what? I think that's like the 17th commentators curse I've had, uh, like since since I started commentating for these things that's not that's that's an average of 9 per uh <laughs> but here we go though Weezer 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 and Mr. E just 
swinging at each other, swinging at each other, trying to get, trying to build as much percentage. Mystery trying to avoid any, trying to avoid anything, and Miss, and Weezer trying to get, trying, trying to get something started here. Oh, unfortunate. You can even see the head tilt there. He just got into rage, and unfortunately, Mr. E, and unfortunately for, for Weezer, is now playing from an even bigger deficit. Ops to again, up, up B. I think he might... Uh, actually, no, it's Town City, not Smashville. Good air dodge to avoid any pressure, but tries to immediately aggressively side B. And right now, yeah, you know, Weezer has to go in, has to try and get... Has to try and get some sort of kill if he wants to get something started here. Um, Weezer has is really good at when it comes to using that, getting getting those uh, electrics actually. Also, has a really good muscle memory on it. Tries to go for it again. It's safe. It's safe on block, especially if you try and roll away from it. Oh, and look and look at the shimmy. Look and look at this like near fox trotting again. I'm loving it. Trying to utilize the crouch step and trying to get that wall rising one. Ah, held a little fo held forward a little too early. Here, lasers himself to safety. He has the up B again. Gets the electric and gets the up B. All right, so 94%. Weezer is 6% away from getting rage, which will it's which is a huge kill mover, even just a percentage builder. And you know, Mr. E knows it. He's trying to you know he's trying to thread the needle. There we go. Okay, now rage is on the table here, folks. He has until 160, and he loses and he loses it with every grab or every down B that he does. That's 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 like the only problem with rage is that you lose access to your grabs. You know, any regular grab is going to ki is going to activate the rage drive. So it becomes at this point, what type of conversion do you go for? 130% on 130 percent doesn't want to get hit by a stray back air. Even though the town city is bigger than than Smashville, you want to avoid that as much as you can. All right, he's used it twice. I think that that depletes like the five percent. So I think he has up to 150. He's up to 150 now, folks. Trying to get something started here. That's a big punish. Doesn't get the punish. Oh, good parry and a good upbeat up for to boot. A lot of good decisions right now from from Mr. E. Has to opts to use the laser again. That's going to be a re grab. Going to make it back, but the last sit. Ah, oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Too, but Mr. E's going to take it two one over Weezer, and and now he's going to be able to fight against Cody. And we're back into three out of five for the rest of the night, folks. You guys still, are you guys still good with the audio, or do you guys want? Uh, I it's fine right now. I just had... No, no, it's fine. Honestly, it's just like, I might just get a different monitor that has audio. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to be going, going into this loser's finals. Mr. E versus Cody. Um...
Something going on on the, on the stream on your end for the All right, but these two, but yeah, these two gotta go right into it, guys. Mr. E versus Cody, Lucina versus Lucina versus uh versus Peach. I think this is a. I think this was I think this was the set that actually I think this was the this is a rematch of uh, winners. So, so let's see what's going to happen with a uh, three out of five with a three out of five uh, uh, parameter here. Right, right now, right now, Mr. Right now, Mr. E is able to is is currently is currently loot is currently uh, you know behind against against Cody. But let's see how this is. Go let's see, let's see if uh, Mr. E is going to be able to you know make that turnaround turnaround in a in a three out of five set. Gets try, gets Matt tries to hit him with the side beat throughout the entire time, but not gonna get anything off of it. Gets hit with the with, with a huge with a huge counter. Gets and it gets hit with the and gets hit with an up smash immediately out of shield. Cody Cody Cody, here we go. There's that bread and butter. Fifty percent. Try going to immediately get something off the turnups, but just holds forward in and Mr. E misspaces that uh misspaces that back air. And this time, this time Mr. E is going to be able to grab the stock here, but let's see, double nair, put, push him outside, off, off the ledge, but now, but now the Dada is not going to get hit just yet. And try to go for the Z-drop, not going to get anything off of it either. Here comes the, here comes the uh, counter and not going to be able to uh, get anything off of that. Nairs him off and the snipe. <laughs> All right, mystery going to mystery going to counter pick to PS2 Pokemon Stadium 2. Let's see, let's see, you know we're gonna see how this one's gonna work out. All right now, right now, Mr. E is able to is is currently able to get some tech chases off of these down throws, and getting something off of this dancing blade. Not anything big, but uh, dolphin slash, but off on the platform, and Cody doesn't punish it. It uh, goes again this time, Cody hitting him with the up air, with the up air. All right, okay, this one looking a bit more even. 
in comparison to last game, but right now, here comes the first ledge trap situation. I guess and, and a late nair is gonna be able to take gonna be able to take the first stock here. Mr. E now now I've been in the driver's a little bit has a little bit of a lead, but we're gonna see how this one's going to go. Alright, that's again the fair the fair trying to push something here. And Cody rolling a little too much and Mr. E going to hit him with going to get the grab. And <laughs> Cody's gonna turn it around immediately with the with a stitch face. Has it has it in his hand, so you know can do a lot of damage or a lot of shield damage. Actually, just look at that. Just look at that on a full shield. All right, here we go. It's the down throw into back air. And and now the and now the percentages are are. Back pretty much fairly even at this point now. Ah, uh, yeah, that's good. That's a forward smash waiting to happen. A really bad counter. But I like the float away. And again, Mr. E has been w trying to fish for those, fish for those, uh, those uh, air to air counters, and so far has not gotten much off of it. All right, catch the the two the two catch it back and forth and catch the turn back and forth and, and right now these two are these two these two items plays really well. A, a great great block to avoid these back airs, but that shield's looking really small. You know, a really close one, but oh, it does not get the punish. But here we go, gets the back throw. All right, gets the gets the nair, trying to get again get shield, get shield poke with the, get shield poke with that falling up air. I uh, tried to get a down down air into uh down air into forward smash. Not gonna get anything off of that, but he gets hit with the back air. Gets hit with the forward, th gets hit with the forward throw. Cody right now at 55%, but honestly, he could he can catch this up with with just a, with, a, with one of those patented bread and butter combinations that he's been able to land. He's been able to land tonight. All right, here we go. Down tilt forward throw. The turn up grab, not not a, just a regular one. All right, gets the down tilt. Not gonna get anything off of it. All right, this time opts to, this time opts to land below the platform, and Cody was ready for this. Yep, the, the opts to camp back. 107 percent on Cody. Like any, he's at a bit of a kill percent here. Back air. Yeah, note how Mr. E just opts to go for the better stage control and not going for it for an anti-ground, uh, not going for an anti-ground, but gets the up smash and Cody's gonna take is gonna be able to clutch that out 2-0, and we're going to game three. Alrighty, so going into going into this now, we're running it right back to PS2. Let's see if let's see if Mr. E's gonna be able to make a comeback, make a comeback, reverse 3-0. Um Mr. E opting to stay to stay away from this, but But 
But right, but right now, Mr. E trying to make some adjustments here. I guess it with a down. And right now, and right now, and right now, Cody, and right now, Cody's currently taking the first stock, takes that first stock away from Mr. E, keeping that pressure going. And the dancing blade gonna get the kill spark, not gonna get the kill just yet. Great float away from from it, and again, just Mr. E has not been successful with that, but. There's the first shield break that I was waiting for, and now Cody and now Cody's going to lose that going to lose his first stock due to the due to a successful shield breaker. Good stuff on, good stuff on Mr. E kind of catching Cody holding holding shield at the ledge there. But here we go, the conversions, great item play again to catch it, but immediately going to hit him with another with another one and a good snipe from from Mr. E. Here we go. Drops the drops the turn up, and a good punish off of that on on a miss space forward tilt. All right, gets the forward throw, pushes him away. Big dolphin slash into the back air. Good stuff. Right and right now and right now, Mr. E is currently just on a terror, just making all the right decisions. But right as I say that, Cody is gonna immediately turn it around. Doesn't have, doesn't have a, uh, has a closed eyes one. Not again. Great immediate get up into into a spot dodge. Good call out there. This time gets it, but gets the up B. Not gonna kill just yet. At a very dangerous percentage. Ops to jump. Gets the air to air, up air. Yep, there's, there's that back air. Again, forward tilt, throws him off to the other side of the stage. Um, hits him with the down tilt, not gonna kill just yet. All right, gets the forward throw. All right, the down tilt, again, on the side B, not going to be able to make it to center stage. But this time able to up it makes it back to stage. Back throw. Gets hit again. This time saves his jump. Yeah, very unfortunate back air. Forward smash and immediately going to get back air for his trouble. So now Mr. E is still in this. But right now it's also it's it's on uh, Cody's it's on Cody's counter pick. So I wonder where we're gonna go. What the what the bands are going to be? And we're gonna go, and we're gonna opt to go to Kalos for Game Four here. All right, Mr. E, Mr. E now able to get a bit of more of an offensive start here, getting a, again a lot of good, uh, getting a lot of good, uh, good interactions here. This time, this time, you know, able to push the aggression, able to keep Cody off of, uh, off stage for a lot longer. Yeah, very, and that's a very clean stock there. Just kind of catches Cody, just 
just hold it, just hold him back a little bit, staying still a little too much, and Mr. E, good stuff, pressing his advantage. Great air dodge to avoid that the, the strings, and to reset the neutral. All right, gets the forward, gets the forward air. All right, gets hit again, but this time he's saving his jump. Good Z drop. He's not going to make it back, unfortunately. Unfortunate, but. But here we go. You know, a great, great ledge trapping from, from Cody. All right, here we go. Gets the gets the grab off the con gets the conversion off the grab. And gets the hit with the back air. Throws him off stage. Mr. E trying to trying to close out the stock. Good forward air and. Right now, huge lead, huge lead for, for three. All right, gets the down throw. And, and another one off of a parry. Gets hit with the down, another down throw, forward tilt, throws him off stage. Oh, doesn't get it this time. Oh, and a great read. Into the forward smash, into a back air. We're going to a game five. Uh, I think I should be fine. We're gonna go right, run it right back to PS2, guys. And this game five situation, winner faces guy guy in grand in grand finals. Ah, uh, no conversion off of that, and, the, and a straw and a raw up be not gonna get anything. Cody is going to be. Cody's gonna be pressing on his advantage, 85% on this forward throw, push him off the stage. Gets the gets the nair one into forward air to push Cody off again. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. These two just keeping each other at, at even per, at pretty much near even percent at near kill percent. The down tilt. Oh, no punish off of that. Uh, try to get the down, get, try to get a dancing blade confirmed, but ro but Cody able to roll past it, gets the back air, catches the dot eyes, turn up, still I think has it. So I'm getting hit. I think he oh does not get does not did not have his jump I think at that point, but the forward tilt gonna throw him off stage, and the <laughs> and the knockback of the up B not going to kill just yet, but here we go forward throw time. Yep. And let's see, what's for breakfast on this? Try to go for the ledge trump. Not going to get anything off of it. Falling off air into another one. Here we go, back throw. All right, here we go. Where's the ledge trap situation going to go? Side B, able to swift. Ah, oh, gosh, double whiff off of that. But here we go, gets, the, gets an up. Gets a kill off the top right now. 80% on, on Mr. E and going to keep it going. Okay, great parry off the side B. There you go, gets the down, gets the down tilt, dashes back and forth. Here, Mr. E just pull, trying his best. Oh, no punish off of that, off of that whiff forward smash. Oh, tries to go for a shield breaker to maybe alleviate the pressure or even go for that shield break. But no, here we go, gets the ledge trump, but immediately going to call it out, but doesn't get the grab off of it. As a turn up and gets the turn up confirmed. Grab into, into down air. Going to get hit by the up B. And 
Again, it has a dot eye. It's gonna do, oh, it has a regular turn up. Oh, I think that's a winky one. Gets, the, gets hit by the falling. Gets the hit by the falling uh, up air. And there's the up B. Now, 47% is a lot more doable than 80% was. It's good on him, but you got to be careful with that Mr. Saturn because Mr. Saturn can and will break shield. You know, Mr. S Mr. Saturn, such a such a is such an interesting character to say the very least. Oh, and I like I like that dancing blade. And note how all those were the upward variant to try and get Cody floating around. Actually, all right, able to make it back to Sage. Tries to co Cody tries to read a roll, and Mr. E uses a uses the neutral getup to get himself away from it. <coughs> Gets hit with the with the with the sweet spot of it. Has to avoid. Has to avoid drift back. Able to make it back on the stage. Does not need to, it, a back air. Is, a back air is definitely going to end this. Nair going to throw him off stage. Here comes the here comes the uh, the truck the turn up. Great spacing. Gets hit with the sour spot. But there it is. And now it's going to be game five. And and game five is going to be going to Cody, which is going to set up for the. Four grand finals. <laughs> guy, guy. Versus Cody. Go the long way. Go this the way, long this way. You want me to just go? This way, this way. I could have given it to him. Are you going to head out now? Um, I think we're probably going to head out now. Okay, just because that was fast. Uh, no worries. We have top eight graphics. At the end of the day, I'll take a picture of it. We'll Photoshop you in. We'll Photoshop you in. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to Thank you so much for coming, bro. Of course. All right, guys. So, so we're gonna be getting, uh, you know, guy guy versus uh, versus Cody. You know, rematch of the winners finals here, guys. Very, very, very close set between uh, between uh, Mr. E and and Cody. Let's see if uh, let's see if Cody's gonna be able to roll on the roll on the momentum that he got from this last from that last set, preventing a reverse 3-0. Oh, bad, and a bad air dodge. What's Bran? What's Bran? I don't know. That's funny. <laughs> Good seating, guys. But here, we, but here we go. But here we go right now. Uh, guy, guy, trying to get, trying to get some reads to close out this stock deficit. Hit with the down smash. We're going to have to fair that to avoid any sort of hit there.
Here we go, going back to small battlefield. Honestly, these two just fighting for the for the music counter pick here. And Cody immediately getting things started with a zero to with a very quick zero to death. Less than 30 seconds here. Oh no, punish off of that side B though, but gets the up B, gets an up smash off of for an anti-air. Here we go, into the down air, not gonna get the spike though. Good parry into down tilt, up tilt, up, up B. Good stuff from Guy Guy. Pick the wrong controls. One of them picked the wrong <laughs> If you guys can hear that, that is uh, our grand finals of our amateur bracket happening right next to the uh, Actual bracket. <laughs> All right, clips clips him with the uh, with the up B. Just going to get hit with the hit with the coin. Not going to get anything off of this yet. Down throw into down, into down B, the 50-50. Uh, Guy Guy's gonna be able to get that and, clo and close out that second stock on Cody. Guy Guy is gonna, Guy Guy, just really trying to get this, trying to end this, down throw. Uh, like calls out the spot dodge and I love the patience from Cody. Just, oh, not able to make it unfortunately. Dipped a little too low and got clipped by that, uh, and got clipped by that the, by the turn up. All right, let's see where the where the ledge trap's gonna go. Go opts to go for a really big re with the up B. Instant was gonna instantly end the game and not gonna kill just yet. But all right, again, Cody's got Cody's got a uh, another game to think about it. One one. We're gonna go to the battlefield here. Here we go. Gets the gets the uh, Zare into grab, and, and now Cody. Cody has to be playing right, playing defensively, trying to go, try to get back into it. And Guy Guy's able to make it back too. Here we go. Up tilt into up B. Gonna barely be able to to touch the ceiling, and now Guy Guy's immediately and Guy Guy's gonna take the lead here. See if he's gonna be able to get some sort of extra credit onto this. Gets hit with the dot eyes, and honestly, you want to take get as much damage as he can against this. But calls it gets an up smash, calls out the jump. Oh man, the, and the air to air, these this these conversions from Cody able to just take the lead almost immediately and stuff out that up B call gets the Z drop, but here comes the grab into an immediate up B. Guy guy trying to speed run this bracket and try to get this bracket to end as soon as possible. Cody not getting Cody. It, 
has a lot to say about that. He does not want this to end just yet. And he gets the ups and he hits the up smash again. 45%. Just trying to get some extra credit as po much as possible. Rolls around. Good parry into an up B. Not gonna kill just yet. A little too early for that though. So, so I, I think another parry is definitely gonna be the ch case here. But down tilt into the up up air. Not gonna kill just yet. Misfire is back and tries to float around with the down B. Not gonna take it just yet. And here we go. Gets the down air. Oh my gosh. Into the down B, not gonna kill just yet. And managed to get, and managed to get the up smash. All right, and Guy Guy's gonna take that. He's on tournament point. Yep. All right, now we're gonna go into game four in this, in the, into this final set. Let's see if we're gonna be able to extend, the, extend this matchup, but. All right, good parry there on the on the multi hit down air. And here, and here we go right now. Oh man, Cody, guy guy just <laughs> trying to go for these like hard reads. Just this time actually opting to to close it out and using up smash to just to punish to punish those side B's that uh that uh, Cody's been opting to use. But down tilt into the back air. That's going to take the first stock here. Let's see if we get. Let's see if you know. Guy guy's gonna be able to build up to this lead, gets the grab. Ah, oh, the, the turn up actually messed it up. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, this time opting to use it for it and gets the call out, but doesn't, but doesn't. Oh boy. Gets misfired, and unfortunately, that's that's just set him up in some bad positioning. All right, gets the parry down throw into the back air. That's gonna float off and and take a kill right now. Guy guy just needs to take one last stock to get this. Gets the gr gets the nair into the into the grab, and calls out Cody trying to utilize a uh, use use a forward smash. Gets the back and gets and, and gets the back air. Tries to get the down tilt. Trying to go for a big side up B. Not gonna get it. I right, gets the jab push him to push him away. Air dodge is back. Down tilt. Try calls out the calls it out calls out any sort of option. Cody is about to, just needs one good option, one good call out to to close out the stock, but. That might be it. No, not quite. Hits him with hits him with the reverse Pele kick. Not gonna not gonna kill just yet. What's for breakfast? A roll into a grab back throw. Going trying to go for the go for the mix-up. He tried to end with the taunt. Cute. I like it. And extends the hitbox with the Zare. Right now, and Cody's brought this back. All right. That might take it, and that's going to take it. Yep. And Guy Guy is currently going to be your your first place. Your first place here. Cody taking second place. Mr. E taking third. Uh, second was Cody. Yeah. So uh, congratulations yeah. to Guy Guy for winning Smash Emporium number two. Congratulations, dude. <laughs> Damn. <laughs>
and then congratulations to Cody for getting second and Mr. E for getting third. If you guys can please join me over on the right by the uh, dark magician girl, we're gonna do a quick uh, picture. But yeah, guys. So. Remember to, of course, so that, that's going to be it for the stream tonight. My name is Well-Dressed Jam. Remember to support your locals. Hit that follow button. Hit that subscribe button. Follow, follow us on Twitter. For, follow us on Twitter at CyanaticSenku. The same, pl same place. Just hit copy and paste on that URL and put it into Twitter.com. From there, guys, you'll, we'll be able to, you know, you'll be he hear some more uh, updates. This Saturday, we'll be, we'll be over at Legendary Realms doing the, doing the Rumble at the Realm, guys. And then, but we'll be back with more, some more, with some more Smash Ultimate action on Thursday. On on Thursday and Saturday, we'll be back with Burst Collectors with some FGC action, guys. So, with that said, my name is Well Dressed Gem, and I'll see you guys next time.